Hello? Are we making sound? Let me know if we are making sound. Hello, besties. Okay, so now I can come on. Hi! How's it going? We are on the let's try not to delete this stream again um, because we doxed ourselves like six times last week. Stream. Um, <laughs> being as stupid as I am does in fact come at a cost. So I'm we're getting right into this like as quickly as possible because I have a feeling the reaction channels are going to want this for clippies. So are we all are we all good? Oh, you can hear the French. All right. So before we get into anything, I have a disclaimer. I even made a fun little image. Wait, hold on. Look, I'm a streamer. Here is my disclaimer for everyone. Make me over here. Boop. All right, disclaimer. Let's read this all together, okay? I am Quebecoise, meaning I am not French from France, from Europe, okay? I'm French Canadian. The French spoken in Quebec is very different than in Europe. That being said, I did 15 years of French second language classes and I speak French in my real life regularly. I am saying that I do not guarantee that I relay everything 100% the same as intended or the same as someone who is from Europe who speaks French would say. Before I get the like trans people with like translation degrees being like, um, she misinterpreted the connotation around this swear word in French that they only use in Belgium. And I'm like, girl, I'm Quebecois. If it's not tabarnak, I don't know what it is. Okay. Like, so I'm just covering my booty for those who are like, you know, gonna come in. Okay. So we're doing it from my. Like Quebec, so there's like certain words she uses, like gourmad, which like I think in European French, gourmad is like overeating, but in Quebec, like the Quebecois, it's a gourmad. It's like you're kind of like a fatty. So <laughs> things like that, I have to kind of like try to figure out what context she's using them in. So, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to... We're just having disclaimers because... You know. Okay, that being said, we also need to um, have the subtitles on because her accent's a little uh, different than mine. As you can probably tell by mine sounding like I have to sneeze. So... I've, yeah, I am French. Thank you for the disclaimer because I probably would have been very annoying. Yeah, like I said, I'm just doing it from like the context of like how I've learned French. So if it's, it's pretty like it's, I'm, it's not gonna be that different. Realistically, like she's, she's her French is actually very good and very clear. So, okay. So that being said, there's like two hours of content we got to go through. So let's, Let's get on this. Let's get on this train. Uh, call in all the all the girl verse people you want. Tell your besties like my stream so they see it, and uh, uh, you know, I don't know. We could do a fun game like every every dono I get to teach you guys the new Quebecois swear word or something. Okay, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, let's get right into the news. Let's make sure everything's working too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to, oh, sorry. I'm going to listen to a sentence or two, and then I'm going to, like, tell you what that part of it meant. So we're good. Because I don't even think she has. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, it's French, and that's it, so. All right. Tout a commencé quand je suis tombée sur ce TikTok. No, I don't think you understand. I'm quand quelqu'un ne comprend pas mon obsession avec l'amberverse. Euh, j'ai pas la ref. C'est quoi l'amberverse Le top commentaire dit La fascination qu'on a pour une random qui vit au Kentucky, lol. En lisant les commentaires, je capte qu'on parle d'une certaine Amberlin Raid. Et... So she said, I stumbled upon this TikTok. And then she put captions over it, which is just someone saying that they're obsessed with the Amberverse. So then she said, What in the Lord's name is an Amberverse? And then proceeds to say that someone commented that it's a random lady from Kentucky. So then, les gens sont arpa, or sorry, excuse me, les gens sont à perle. Obesité par elle, c'est ton bien. Il y a hashtag en Berlin. So it's talking about someone who is obese, and then there's a hashtag for en Berlin read. Okay, so the other thing is why the there's so back to the Quebec one thing again. There's pronunciations in that Quebec. Uh, like people will knock off that people from Europe do not, and I'm trying to guess which ones they are. So, <laughs> it's like, okay, so she's just saying, like, she came across that and she's like, what the hell's the Amberverse? Et que les gens sont apparemment obsédés par elle. Ça tombe bien, il y a un hashtag Amberlin Raid sous TikTok. Du coup, moi, je clique dessus et là, TikTok me propose des centaines, si pas des milliers de vidéos à son sujet. Si je fais le So she said she clicked on the hashtag Amberlin Reed and she saw a, a ton of TikToks related to that hashtag. Test, le hashtag Amberlin Reed a plus de 60 millions de vues. Du coup, moi, je me dis, bah, je vais chercher son compte. And the hashtag had 62 million views. Bah, cette Amberlin Reed pour être aussi connue, peut-être qu'elle fait du contenu formidable. Et là, je trouve ça bizarre parce qu'en fait, elle a pas tant d'abonnés que ça. Je vais voir sur Google. So she's saying that's really weird because she doesn't have that many followers. Et là, j'hallucine complètement. Quand on tape son nom, Google nous propose presque 16 millions de résultats Google. Donc pour comparaison, si je cherche Squeezie, je n'ai que, que 5 millions de résultats. Pour Kaby Lame, le mec le plus suivi de TikTok, moins... So she was saying that she's really shocked. And then, um, upon looking at the hashtags and stuff, or the Google search, sorry, she found over whatever, I think she said 60 million results. And then she looked up a famous French YouTuber and he only had 5 million. And then she's like, and then I'm looking at the most followed person on TikTok and this is how many there are. Also, understand that when you don't work as a translator, like, it's really hard to bounce back and forth languages because I watched like 10 minutes of this by myself to see if I write, if I understood everything. And like, this is harder to do than when I was watching it by myself because I'm also trying to read chat at the same time. Moins de 5 millions. Il y a plus de contenu en ligne sur cette random du Kentucky que sur Squeezie et Kaby Lame réunis. Ce qui... There's more content online about this random lady from Kentucky than Squeezie and Kaby Lame together. Is she like Beyoncé? According to Google, kind of. Cette meuf, c'est Beyoncé. D'après Google, elle est youtubeuse. Apparemment, elle a 200 000 abonnés. Autant sur YouTube que sur TikTok, ça fait quand même très peu d'abonnés pour qu'on parle autant d'elle. Quand je tape son nom sur YouTube, je comprends qu'il y a un problème. Compared to her numbers on TikTok and YouTube, she's like way less famous. Problème autour d'elle. Je peux scroller à l'infini. YouTube me propose des milliers et des milliers de vidéos sur elle, toutes négatives. Ça parle d'arnaque, de mensonges, d'accusations, de maltraitance, de mani. I don't know what swear word that is. I gotta be honest with y'all. Like I don't. <laughs> the European French swear words are like completely different than the ones here. Uh, so she scrolled through and she saw uh, she looked her name up on YouTube and beyond her own video She saw a ton of videos all negative about this person um, There are They're talking about her negative nature accusations do so I would assume that word would be something to do with assault It's yeah, see that's what I was gonna say like accusation that yeah I was gonna say it's the it's I was gonna say assault so, so pretty much yeah and just kind of bad things like just the same stuff we all know about you know like the uh, accusations from Amberlynn's ex boyfriend whose name has slipped my mind yeah I didn't want to say the R word out loud because I I want to keep this up right so it's uh, all my French besties in the chat too 
understand that this is difficult to do with this all this at the same time. I'm not a very good multitasker, so all right, let's continue. Manipulation et d'un tas de trucs tous plus graves les uns que les autres. Le ratio sous toutes ces vidéos est atroce. Quand je vous dis que ça se compte en milliers de vidéos qui la dénoncent, je n'exagère pas du tout. C'est même un euphémisme. La quantité est. She's saying when I say there's a million videos that like hate her, like that's not a, um, an exaggeration. Casey, thank you. And it's like um, astronomical quantity. Stratosphérique, je n'ai jamais vu ça. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ce bordel C'est qui cette meuf et pourquoi tout le monde la déteste Avant d'embarquer dans la vidéo, je vais me faire mon petit. With all of this, why do so many people hate her? And uh, we're gonna skip in because I'm not getting paid. So, sponsor me though. I speak French. I'll read it. I'm not prom <laughs> no promises on the accent though. Um, th 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 girl. Oh, sorry. I'm just stupid. Where does it start? How far did I skip? Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Sorry. En vérité, je connaissais le cas en Berlin depuis quelques mois, mais je n'osais pas me lancer sur ce sujet. Sujet trop délicat, terrain trop glissant, enquête trop compliquée, ce sujet me faisait peur. Je m'y suis quand même intéressée dans mon coin, juste par curiosité, en me disant que de toute façon, j'en ferais pas de vidéo. Sauf que plus je fouillais, plus je me renseignais, plus je me disais qu'il fallait absolument que j'en fasse une vidéo. Cette enquête... Oh, she just had a transcript to be better at reading the transcript. She's saying that videos like this have difficult subjects and it's going to be kind of like a bit heavier. That's why you got like the piano music in the background. It's my halluciné et vas-y je prends quand même le risque d'en parler disclaimer indispensable je vous demanderai vraiment de ne surtout pas aller emmerder les gens qui sont impliqués dans cette histoire ça me changera she's saying don't go and hate on people that are involved with this also i also forgot to set it to live chat oops okay also everyone can hear everything is like sounds good and everything could somebody please confirm pretty please rien à la situation, ça va juste l'empirer, je vous expliquerai pourquoi au fur et à mesure de la vidéo. Donc vraiment, s'il vous plaît, ne contactez pas ces gens. Pas de commentaires, rien. Bon, crevons l'abcès tout de suite. Girl, she hit the rien. <laughs> well, actually, that's a huge difference, right? She, she, she said rien. Is that how she pronounced it? S'il vous plaît, ne contactez pas ces gens. Pas de commentaires, rien. Bon, rien. Des, des Québécois, c'est-à-dire rien. It's a, it's a completely different lift. Oh boy. So she's saying don't contact the commentators either, which are going to be the hater channels who are probably going to clip this because or watch this so they can figure out what they're talking about. But I wonder if I'm going to end up. Oh God. Anyways. Oh no. Bon, crevons l'abcès tout de suite. Amberlin Raid souffre d'obésité morbide. Je ne saurais pas faire cette vidéo sans placer quelques bases concernant l'obésité. Promis, je fais vite. Pour cette vidéo, je m'appuie sur le DSM-5, sur un cours donné par un professeur enseignant à l'Université de Liège qui est spécialiste des TCA. Pas mal d'articles écrits par des scientifiques, mais aussi des sociologues, des psychiatres, et aussi sur... Plus... So she's saying that the... You intimidating the... <laughs> uh, so she's saying that the articles that she's pulling up are from... Uh, university professionals and the... Uh like psychology and things like that. So she's claiming that she's using things that are like properly sourced, you know, YDHB take notes, I suppose. But yeah, the DSM-5 a little bit, you know, a little bit dicey depending on who you ask, I suppose. Um, but obviously there are like racial implications with the DSM-5. So take with that what you may sorry my lips are really chapped oh right so so what's that plusieurs études je vous mets tout ça en description comme d'habitude. Bon, la base de la base, l'obésité est considérée comme une maladie par les professionnels de la santé. Ça désigne un excès de masse grasse entraînant des inconvénients sur la santé et pouvant réduire l'espérance de vie. L'obésité She's saying that according to professionals, yes, gender too, that is true. Uh, according to professionals, obesity is a disease that is a, um, something that is. Sorry. 
Sorry, my boyfriend was laughing at stupid stuff. I thought he was laughing at me. Um, so, okay, see, now he's distracted me. This is why I told him not to talk to me. He doesn't care. So, uh, inconvenience. Uh, da, 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 da. So, it's saying that the, the obesity is a disease that can cause like inconveniences to life and uh, other such uh, diseases in rea um, correlation to it. And it is caused by excess gras just means excess fat. Gras is fat. She says pronounce it differently because she's not trashy uh, Gatineau region French like I am. Les surpoids sont la cinquième cause de mortalité selon l'OMS. Toujours selon l'OMS, environ 13% des adultes souffrent d'obésité. I she says I am at, like this acronym. I don't know what that is because that's related to um I guess a French acronym. And I don't know what that ref that's referring to because, like, my health system knowledge is in English. So it's the, f I would assume it's like an age group, but Sankyam, it's the fifth most uh, highest cause of mortality in that designated group. Mortalité selon l'OMS. Toujours selon l'OMS, environ 13% des adultes souffrent d'obésité. Dans notre société, on a tendance à penser que c'est une maladie de flemmard, que c'est juste, oh bon, il a trop mangé, il avait la flemme de s'entraîner, et boum, il est obèse. Sauf que c'est pas si simple. Sur le site de l'IMS. What do you mean OMS is who? How does that make sense? What? Also, she's saying that obesity is... Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Sorry. I <laughs> I thought you meant like it was like the verb. <laughs> this is what happens when you're when we're talking about French because that's... <laughs> um... All right, so she's saying that obesity is more complicated than, hey, you just eat too much food. That's what I was trying to say. That's so funny. What do you mean, who? Who's who? What? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. L'INSERN, il est écrit, les origines de l'obésité sont multiples et c'est un énorme euphémisme. Des chercheurs ont tenté de compiler tous les facteurs qui mènent à l'obésité et ça donne ce schéma. Pour comprendre pourquoi une personne est obèse, il faudrait qu'on... All of the factors that would, you know, bring forth obesity are design are written in this chart to show how complicated it actually is. Prendre tous ces facteurs et leurs interactions entre eux. Donc c'est quand même un poil plus compliqué que juste il est gourmand. Dans toutes ces causes, on trouve notamment des. Okay, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> like, so she's saying it's a little bit more complicated than il est gourmand. Like. Uh, I think she means they are f overweight, so that's what I'm going to go for. Well, we haven't gotten that far. We haven't really gotten to her opinions yet right now. She's just doing, like, uh, a basis formal introduction of, um, like, just obesity as a concept. Biologique et génétique. Pour citer un seul exemple, un de ces facteurs, c'est une insensibilité à la leptine. Les chercheurs se sont rendus compte que les personnes obèses n'étaient pas sensibles à cette hormone, et ça tombe mal parce que c'est l'hormone de la satiété. Faut également que So they're saying that there's a ton of issues that can cause things like hormonal imbalances, and then hormonal imbalances can be cyclical and make things worse. Since I'm from Brittany, she French French Québécois incomprehensible. That is. Yeah, but gourmet, like, I know, but like, I've only heard it being used like this person's a fatty, like, but I saw what she means. It's somebody who's glut. It's it's I think it directly translates to gluttonous, actually. Um, let me check. I believe it's gluttonous if we're doing it like one to one. Yeah. Uh glutton gluttonous yeah so it directly translates to gluttonous je vous parle vite fait de santé mentale parce que ce sujet est également important pour comprendre le cas dans berlin donc comme si c'était it is deeper than a physical thing it's also a mental issue this is so we can understand amberlin read pas déjà assez compliqué de comprendre l'obésité, il a été prouvé que les personnes obèses sont plus nombreux en proportion à souffrir de maladies mentales que le reste de la population et notamment des maladies mentales. There is a disproportionate amount of people who are obese with some mental issue tied to it uh, that can promote that obesity. 
sociétale qui favorise l'obésité. Par exemple, les chercheurs se sont rendus compte que la dépression favorisait de 58% les risques d'obésité et que l'obésité favorisait de 55% les risques de dépression. Le bon. So she's saying they lean into each other. 58% of, I believe, the obese people are depressed or vice versa. It was like 55-58. So like percent are depressed versus obesity. It's just um, just talking about that kind of uh, correlation. Yes, gourmand is linked to something sweet or bad for your health. That's true too. Bon cercle vicieux. Bien sûr, il faut également citer certains troubles du comportement alimentaire, comme par exemple l'hyperphagie boulimique. En gros, les personnes qui souffrent d'hyperphagie boulimique vont régulièrement avoir des crises incontrôlables, des pulsions lors desquelles ils vont ingérer des grosses grosses quantités de nourriture en très peu de temps. Et évidemment, ce trouble peut avoir de gros impacts sur le. Je disais, there's different types of eating disorders, uh, binge eating disorder, which is where you eat a ton of food at one time. Uh, depressive states and bulimia. Et devinez qui souffre de dépression et d'hyperphagie boulimique. I was assessed for a binge eating disorder. I was actually diagnosed with depression. At... Si je vous ai placé tout ça, c'est parce que c'est hyper important de comprendre qu'on ne peut pas détester en Berlin juste pour son poids. Ce serait absurde. It's, it, this is crucial to understand that you should not hate Amber Lynn just for her weight. Personne ne choisit d'être obèse. C'est lié à plein de facteurs qui ne se choisissent pas. Donc non, c'est pas pour son poids. No one chooses to be this morbidly obese. Point que les gens la détestent. Ce serait complètement absurde et cruel. Il y a forcément d'autres choses. Toutes les bases ont été placées, donc c'est parti. Bon visionnage. With all of this in place, her past and why she didn't choose to be this way in place, let's continue to the first part. And then this is la spirale infernale, it's like the flaming spiral, like the what's the word? This is a saying for that in English. Downward spiral, right? Normally. This is just how it translates. Amberlin Raid s'est lancée sur YouTube à 22 ans en 2013. Hi, um, my name is Amberlin and I wanted to start. She started her YouTube at 22 years old in 2013. Um, a YouTube channel for weight loss. Elle aimerait bien perdre du poids et vlogger son parcours pour peut-être se motiver, peut-être motiver d'autres gens, bref. She did this to track her weight to motivate other people as well as herself. Une chaîne vlog et perte de poids. Ça prend pas tout de suite. Au début, elle est suivie que par quelques dizaines de personnes. She wanted to vlog and lose weight as well. Yeah, I know it translates to infernal, but like, there's like, I'm trying not to translate this like one for one because it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to do it in a way that's like colloquial to English as well, if that makes sense. So. Infern, like, you don't say infernal spiral in English, it's downward spiral, mostly. Why is the lice chat moved to the comment? Oh, live chat? I don't know. I don't put it on screen because I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be honest, it's because I don't know how to do it. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep it pushing. Um, I'm just trying to see. Une chaîne vlog et perte de poids. Ça prend pas tout de suite. Au début, elle est suivie que par quelques dizaines de personnes. Elle est surtout suivie par des gens qui ont le même combat qu'elle et qui sont là pour partager des conseils ou de la motivation. Dès le début de sa chaîne, Amberlin est. She was hoping that dozens of people would watch and then you can have. Or, Zan is. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, a lot of people would watch. <laughs> and then. Um, we. She, they can motivate each other, like make a small community. Also, um, not a bear. I love your little profile picture because it looks like little bear ears. Speaking of bear ears, have y'all seen the new Teddy Fresh hoodies with the bear ear hoods? Oh, I remember I saw one like that from North Face, but they only made it for babies. So I finally get to thrive in my adulthood uh, with my little bear ear hoodie. I'm so excited. It's a livre ouvert avec sa communauté. Elle Yeah, it sounds like 10, but she said in a plural context, is she not? She said like not like she wanted a few people to watch it. That's what I'm trying to say. Again, I'm trying not to do it like one for one because like you don't say like tens of people, you know, or a group of 10. Like it's, you know, it's also like I said, it's it's checking my OBS, checking the chat, doing this and then relaying it is a lot on my little brain. 
partage tout. Sa passion pour les jeux de plateau, son quotidien, mais elle se livre également sur son passé et son enfance. Et le moins qu'on puisse dire, c'est qu'elle n'a pas eu une enfance rigolote. Yeah, a few, as I said, a dozen is what I use, right? So. I just, it's out of sync, so I'm going to play it for a second. Chan, Amberlin est un livre ouvert avec sa communauté. Elle partage tout, sa passion pour les jeux de plateau, son quotidien, mais elle se livre également sur son passé et son enfance. Et le moins qu'on puisse dire, c'est qu'elle n'a pas eu une enfance rigolote. My parents were drug addicts. Um... So she was sharing her passion, she was sharing everything, her daily life, and now she even got to her um, early life. The... se sont rendus compte que les personnes um they abused each other their location of using drugs was in the bathroom so every time i'd go in there i knew that when they came out they'd be a different person i had to um in a way be my own parent when my brother was born he was so adorable and gosh i loved him um I did kind of take the role of being a parent in a way. Vers ses 9 ans environ, elle a été placée en famille d'accueil avec son frère le plus âgé. Et son petit frère, le bébé dont elle s'était occupée jusque-là, a été adopté par une autre famille. C'était une adoption fermée. Donc... Oops, she lived in a bad family with just herself and her younger brother, and she felt that she had to kind of occupy herself with him. And then later, she got adopted into another family. Oh, sorry. Uh, he got adopted to another family, right? In a close adoption. Donc à partir de ce jour, elle ne l'a plus jamais vue. In a way, I felt like my own child was being adopted. Par la suite, elle sera trimballée de foyer en foyer. À un moment, elle sera séparée de son autre frère. Puis quand elle a eu 12 ans, le tribunal des enfants a décidé que finalement, elle et son frère allaient retourner vivre avec ses parents. Finalement, à 14 ans, elle sera de nouveau placée en foyer. Bref. So they thought that she could... Oh, classic, make it doubly, thank you. Um... <laughs> she um, she thought that she would be able to go back with her parents around 12, and then at 14, she got moved again. Elle nous raconte l'enfance chaotique d'un enfant dont les parents ont sombré. Et malheureusement, à l'école, c'était pas fun non plus. Every day I was bullied. Um, I was the smelly kid. I was the fat girl. Um, that's how people knew me. I was fat Amber. À 22 ans, elle emménage avec sa petite amie et ses parents qui lui offriront le premier environnement safe et aimant qu'elle ait jamais connu. C'est dans ce contexte, enfin en sécurité et bien entourée, qu'elle se décide à se lancer sur YouTube et dit de... À 22, she felt like... Instability to the max for her, yeah. Uh, at 22, she felt for the first time that she was in a safe environment and decided that she could then start her YouTube channel. I'm just looking at myself because there's a bit of a delay, like I can see through the streaming service. And when I watch this, my mouth just open because I'm focusing so hard on trying to read. It'd be like, how do I explain this in English? documenter son combat avec l'obésité. Donc, au début de sa chaîne, Amberlin se fixe un challenge 30 jours de squat. Elle vlogue tout ça pendant quelques jours, elle nous montre parfois de la nourriture. She decided that with her YouTube channel, she would combat her obesity. She started with a squatting challenge for 30 days. And she would also record the food that she was eating. Saine, parfois de la nourriture moins saine. Puis vient le moment de se peser, et là... C'est la déception, elle n'a pas perdu de poids. So, Friday... And despite all the food that she was eating, there was a bit of deception as she wasn't losing any weight. I ate more than I should. Saturday, I ate more than I should. And last night, I ate more than I should. Um, I don't know why I do this to myself. I just do. Um, I've... Had a problem with my weight and food my whole life. Mais elle se démonte pas. Elle va rattraper le coup. Elle se fixe un nouvel objectif de ne manger plus que 1700 calories par jour. I... She moved on to a new objective of 1700 calories. I plan to only eat 1700 calories. And I already messed up. And today is only the first day. I keep turning to food for... Et c'est peut-être pas utile que je vous explique quels seront ses prochains objectifs, dans quel régime elle va se lancer, parce que pour faire court, elle va échouer à chaque fois. Parfois, elle tiendra ses objectifs. She does a new objective all the time, no matter what she seems to fail. 
quelques jours, parfois quelques semaines, mais à la fin, c'est toujours un échec. Ces neuf dernières années, l'audience dans Berlin a vu ce cycle se répéter à l'infini. Elle parle d'une nouvelle... Within the first nine years of her YouTube channel, she know, uh, people noticed that she had a cycle that would always continue. Elle diète d'un nouveau programme alimentaire, elle est super motivée, elle y croit à fond, et très vite elle fait une vidéo pour avouer qu'elle a abandonné. J'ai trouvé un site qui... The cycle involves that she finds a new diet plan, gets super excited, makes a video, and then not very long after makes another video saying that she has failed. Documente le poids d'Amberlin dans le temps. C'est chassé absurde. Genre il y a un site dont la seule utilité est de documenter le poids d'une random à travers... Uh, that she's saying that their cycles exist online and she was finding information and she says it's absolutely ridiculous that there would be websites tracking some random ladies weight. Le temps, qui s'intéresse Et donc bref, son poids a globalement fait ça. Et pourtant, elle a tellement envie d'y arriver. I am addicted to food and more than anything, I wish I wasn't. I'm killing... All that got us here, I think. Myself too. À ce stade, toujours en 2013, elle a une petite audience. C'est des gens qui partagent pour la plupart les mêmes galères, les commentaires sont pleins d'entraide, d'encouragement, de conseils, mais il y a aussi parfois des commentaires moins agréables. À chaque fois qu'elle annonce qu'elle a échoué dans un de ses objectifs... No matter what she does, there's negative comments. And... With everything going on, the like-dislike ratio is usually bad. The Destiny videos, um, I've seen like recaps on reaction channels. I don't think I have time for like two hours of content on like somebody. I like I never watched the Destiny era, so I don't really care about that too much. Objectif, le ratio des likes baisse. En Berlin, ne sait pas comment gérer ça. À chaque fois qu'elle annonce qu'elle a échoué, elle sait qu'elle va recevoir des commentaires pas agréables, alors elle essaie d'anticiper, de demander aux gens de ne pas être méchants. I, I can't handle negative comments, so... No matter what was happening, she didn't have bad ratios, and she felt like she couldn't handle that. Please, people, please, <laughs> don't leave them. I, I can't, because I'm already sad enough. 2013 passe, 2014 aussi, elle gagne quelques abonnés, et tout doucement, elle commence à gagner sa vie avec YouTube. Sauf que l'ambiance change de plus en plus dans les commentaires. Il y a de plus en plus de... Um, over time, she gained a bit of views, but seemingly... Everything going through, the ratios were getting worse, and the comments were also not good. The dislike, de plus en plus de commentaires qui lui reprochent ses échecs avec le poids, avec de plus en plus de virulence. Selon moi, la vidéo qui va marquer un tournant décisif, c'est cette vidéo sortie début 2015 intitulée "Je vous ai menti à tous." Jusque là. So she's saying the beginning of the shift. To like, I would assume the shift she's meaning to like the kind of current state of Amberlynn Reed as like an internet character was this video on from 2015 that is called I was lying to all of you. Uh, and I have to let her finish the sentence. Là, pas mal de gens doutaient de sa transparence concernant son alimentation, mais là c'est très clair et elle le dit. Elle a menti à ce sujet. I have been. It has been clear that her discussions of food were not necessarily honest, and uh, she's where she's discussing this. Also, like the stream, besties. This lady could fit a few more plants in her room if we're being honest. Her background's like kind of I love it actually. Um, I'm a bit sad because my bed is covered in cardboard again because again Gus has been on absolute goblin mode. Today, so we had to put everything on the bed again. Eating at night, I wake up and I think, okay, today's gonna be different. It's not. It never is. I have gained around 11 pounds. Les gens se sentent floués. La plupart de ses abonnés regardent son contenu tous les jours et ils se sentent trahis d'apprendre qu'elle a mangé dans leur dos. Et petit à petit, tout va commencer à dégénérer. In the last couple years, the amount of Oh my god, okay, so she's saying that by little by little she was kind of gaining weight and, and the cycle was starting to become prevalent and then people started to comment on her. This video, why this YouTuber can't, the right opinion video, is the video that got me into the Amberverse. So I used to be a sample lady. Meaning I was the one that would like give out samples at like the grocery store. And if it wasn't super busy, like... You cannot leave your table. So, and there's nothing to do at your table. Like, there's nothing to clean. There's nothing to, like, do, right? So, I had wireless earbuds. Um, 
And I would listen to like longer form YouTube videos while I worked. This is one of them because this one was like two uh, was like uh, 50 minutes long or something. So. Any more missing batteries? Huh? Anyways, and um, this was a video that got me into the Amberverse. And then I started like seeing like reaction channels and stuff. And I was like, how deep does this go? And then, yeah, here we are. H has been receiving has steadily increased, probably due to people calling out that cycle. Le cycle d'Amberlin Raid, selon les gens qui l'ont établi, c'est ce schéma perpétuel de quatre étapes. Étape une. Elle... So what she's saying is the Amberlin Raid cycle is something that people are pointing out. This cycle can be found online, and it is here. She's going to go through it, but I'm not going to relay this all because we can read it in English. It's right there. Uh, I'll even make myself smaller so we can uh, just read that in English. Elle se lance dans un nouveau régime, elle est super motivée, elle achète du matériel pour réaliser ses objectifs. Étape 2, elle fait surtout des vidéos et des vlogs sur son quotidien. Elle parle plus trop de sa perte de poids et on la voit manger notamment au restaurant. Étape 3, elle mange mal, elle avoue avoir abandonné sa diète. Elle... Step 1, she's uh, picking a new plan. Step 2, she's... Um... Étape 1, elle se lance dans un nouveau... Well, like, she's, she's restarting. Does it echo? If I leave it on, like, is it echoing? I don't think it is. I don't have to keep muting myself after. Um, anyway, so step two is that everything is going badly, but she's not ignoring it. Or, sorry, everything is going badly, and she is ignoring it. All of a sudden, her vlogs become about other things. She's not really talking about weight. Oh, yes, I did say that Gus tried to eat a battery, and he did, in fact, try to eat a battery. Um, no more batteries, though. Um, he's he's okay now. Étape 3, elle mange mal. Elle avoue avoir abandonné sa diète. Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. What is happening? Step uh, 3 is indignation, which just means, you know, uh, when she kind of gets, like, angry, like, she gets to kind of be, like, grumpy Lynn. And then starts fighting people. And then the fourth is when she's looking for sympathy, uh, sympathy and trying to get back. So when she introduces a new plan, it will go better. Étape 1, elle se lance dans un nouveau régime. Elle est super motivée. Elle achète du matériel pour réaliser ses objectifs. Étape 2, elle fait surtout des vidéos et des vlogs sur son quotidien. Elle parle she just says it so fast. On la like, voit manger, notamment au oh my god, turn the subtitles up. That's why. Holding on by thread. Elle parle de son trouble du comportement alimentaire. <laughs> L'étape 4 s'appelle l'étape de la manipulation. Elle pleure. Elle dit qu'elle comprend pas comment elle a pu laisser ça se produire. Elle parle de so I just started watching. Is this woman sympathetic to ALR? Uh, so far, yes. Oh, what have I done? I muted it. Sa depression, de son TCA et de santé mentale en règle générale. Et she brings up uh, how hard it's been her mental health in general. Puis on repart sur l'étape 1. Alors ce schéma, toute personne qui connaît un Berlin Raid l'a déjà vu. Et il est pas vraiment bienveillant envers elle. Everybody who is uh, taking into account the cycle as someone who has already watched her. Le schéma mentionne notamment des choses un peu inutiles, comme par exemple le fait qu'elle ait les cheveux gras quand elle va pas bien, et dans la façon dont c'est rédigé, on sent que c'est pas quelqu'un qui apprécie en Berlin qui l'a rédigé. Mais... People who are gonna notice things like how dirty her hair is are not people that are gonna like her. Okay, I'm also gonna make myself bigger again. I should just on this side, right? Because of where the subtitles are. I'm also gonna subscribe to this lady because... I really like watching french youtube videos to like improve my french i right now there's a guy i watch him uh, elie pilon and he's like quebec was so that's why i watch it because like the accent's familiar but i think it's good to just pro like improve vocabulary because people from europe tend to have really good vocabulary <laughs> compared to uh people here sometimes so i i'll watch these um because i love tea videos even if like i don't necessarily agree with them and i think it would be cool to kind of have somebody to listen to to improve my um, French more because obviously it's not the greatest, but. Il est pas totalement faux. Amberlin répète ce cycle à l'infini. 
elle est motivée, elle fait comme si de rien n'était alors que la motivation a l'air visiblement de passer, puis elle avoue avoir laissé tomber, elle se relâche un moment, et puis c'est la phase où elle réalise, elle regrette de s'être éloignée de ses objectifs, elle parle éventuellement des problèmes de santé mentale qui ont... So the cycle is going to continue infinitely. First she starts with a diet, uh, first she starts motivated with a diet plan, then she kind of ignores it, then she gets to a position of kind of mental health, and then she kind of regrets her decisions and then starts to feel bad. Plus la poussée échouée, et puis elle se remotive et c'est reparti pour un tour. Il y a d'autres choses qu'on lui reprochera plus tard, mais à ce stade, on lui reproche principalement que deux choses. La première, c'est qu'on lui reproche de se trouver des excuses pour ses échecs. Sauf que moi, j'ai regardé ses vidéos et j'ai vu que oui, souvent, elle se trouve des excuses qui sont plus ou moins légitimes. There are two things that are legitimately bad with this. Is one that she will try to find excuses. This can be seen from when I watch videos. Mais j'ai aussi vu beaucoup de vidéos dans lesquelles elle assume sa responsabilité pour son manque de résultats. I have been binging. All of a sudden, she'll take responsibility for her lack of results. Really, really bad lately. I can't even describe to you how bad it's been. It's almost embarrassing. Yesterday, I actually ate out three times, and two of those times were fast food. And then where do I go? I go to a buffet. I know, buffet. Instead of passing up Taco Bell. Girl, why did she say buffet and, <laughs> and then buffet? What? Okay, sorry, that was just an aside. I ate the Taco Bell. And it's not like I got one thing. I got a lot of things. And I sat there and I ate it. Ça arrive régulièrement, sauf que même quand elle assume sa part de responsabilité et qu'elle se cherche pas d'excuses, bah le ratio des dislikes reste mauvais. Ok, donc la première chose. It feels like she's stuck in a bad position because even when she does take responsibility, the like ratio is still bad. La chose qu'on lui reproche de sans cesse se trouver des excuses, on dirait que c'est pas vraiment ça qui lui vaut la désapprobation sur internet. Sinon, ces vidéos où justement elle fait le contraire, qu'elle assume à 100%, bah on devrait voir le ratio remonter. Et là, c'est pas le cas. Du coup, à part se trouver des excuses, qu'est-ce qu'on lui reproche le plus She's having trouble figuring out what position that she's in because no matter what she does, it seems that it will go badly for her. And even when she tries to find excuses or different ways to approach, plus souvent à ce stade. She lies. Get... Like, what is she supposed to do? and manipulates her fans. She will just lie about how much she ate or how many calories she had or how much weight she lost. Hold on! Y'all, you want to see something? Okay, hold on. I have to... I have to... I have to... And I just... I can't do this. So you see this? Hold on. You see this girl? Are y'all ready for this? Hold on. Uh, I gotta do it to him. Where is it? Do 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 Wait. Am I dumb, stupid, or dumb? Oh, no, is it still there? I am streaming. Sorry, it's because I'm, uh... So reacting, I didn't think it was a two-card. Yeah, it is a live stream. The only hater video ever made on me is this one. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Hello, friend of the channel! <laughs> Oop! <laughs> 
I didn't really watch. I kind of just skimmed. So I just thought it was like, yeah, I <laughs> I just want to say, um, so the basis of this more or less was in my, what's it called? Uh, in my, uh, rhetoric of what's it called? Uh, girl rhetoric of dissociated video. I mentioned that I wasn't going to use her videos as like sources to 100% believe because I found that she was too obsessive when covering um, dissociated. Because if you look at her channel, well, it's a little bit less now, which I mean, good for her or them. I don't know. I should probably check the pronouns first before I start making comments. Uh, there are no pronouns, I think. So I don't know, actually. Anyways, um, it's, there's a, it's different now. Actually, it's not too bad. But if we go back to five months ago when I was looking... Right, you can see I've watched some of them, but dissociated, dissociated, um, dissociated, 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 dissociated. Uh, don't take a shot every time I say that, but like, you know what I mean? It was like there was just a ton. There's another one, there's another one. It was just getting to be, and I think there's some videos that are gone. This looks different than I remember. But I remember when I was looking, every when I would look up things like dissociated, um, uh, when I would look up like dissociated controversy or whatever, it was always her videos and it was just like a ton of videos. So I just kind of said like that I felt that it wasn't the best to use. And in that, she essentially stated that in the stream that I was like, cr like, um, mean to her kind of. And then someone commented that I think it's okay to like pedal HRT to children because I was defending, um, the concept of the way that Eli Ehrlich wanted to deliver HRT to children, um, and like with the lawsuit with Blair White. But the thing is, is that this was another one of those people are American and forget that other people are alive where like in Canada, you can like get HRT for free when you're that when you're a minor. So like I'm like, why can't other people if it seems to have worked just fine here and kind of this element of like that the way that Blair was twisting it was disingenuous, right? That was kind of what the video was about. But someone was comment. Someone commented that like I'm essentially like someone who lies and uses their degrees to like uh, make myself sound smarter than I really am and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, girl. And then someone said fake degree in the chat, and I, and I about died because I actually have the degree blocked out, like the full name and everything. Because in Canada, there's like degree registry stuff. And there's like when a university has a graduation and like different things, you can like look stuff up. So it, it gave me a little chuckle. I was never going to mention it on the channel, but I just got to do it to him because that's so funny that this this susses me out actually a little bit more because... I have a bit of a hard time with that girl's videos personally. But the thing is, is like, I'm not going to be like, you know, how dare this person use it? It's not that deep, but it's just, it's more, I'm just like, oh, that's so funny. Like, oh, <laughs> friend of the channel really be, <laughs> be coming in, you know? She ate or how many calories she had or how much weight she lost. Ouais, uh, là, je suis pas À la limite, elle ment sur son poids et sur sa bouffe parce qu'elle aurait honte, mais de la dire que c'est de la manipulation. On va creuser un peu. Why would her talking about what she eats or what she's doing be considered manipulation? Friend of the channel, I never. Hi, Bessie. Actual friend of the channel. 
has regularly been accused of faking these videos or faking these diets in general just in the pursuit of monetary gain and to be honest with you I do completely agree with that toujours pas convaincu pourquoi est-ce qu'elle ferait semblant de faire des régimes and if Amberlynn my wait what on love is a compound we agree with that toujours pas convaincu toujours pas convaincu pourquoi et c'est très why is it such an issue to do regimes the problem is is that it pauses to english and then the subtitle doesn't finish and like i need to read it as a full sentence so that sometimes when it breaks like that it's a little more difficult for me to get it and if amberlyn by some miracle lost the weight that she actually claimed she would the journey would end and she'd lose the viewers i mean people are there for the weight and if the weight is gone so is the diet. Thank you. Oh my god. Peel. Amberlyn is worried if she completes this journey, she is going to lose her viewers. Okay. Bon, je suis toujours pas convaincu, mais au moins maintenant j'ai compris l'argument. Selon cette théorie, Amberlyn Raid ne cherche pas à maigrir parce que ses abonnés, ils sont là. So she's fine. She's like, okay, I see what their argument is that she's going to want to have an audience regardless of the videos that she makes. And she needs to continue to make videos. If she, fin if she loses weight, she finishes the transformation. Amberlynn thinks if she loses all her weight, there will be no channel there. There will be no way. And then if the history, uh, history, if the story finishes, then there's, that's it kind of thing. She will ever get views. So what she now does is do these bait videos and then basically just quit diets whenever it's actually working for her. I don't know why they have this theory, but a lot of people think that. And she's like, I don't understand that logic realistically. Je trouve ça pas logique et que j'ai l'impression d'avoir même vu la preuve du contraire, puisque ces vidéos, elle atteint ses objectifs, marchent très bien quand elle atteint ses objectifs. And she doesn't understand that because the videos in which Amberlynn Reed meets objectives work, uh, go very well for her. Il fait là des vues. When she posts a video of her succeeding at a diet, her likes and comments drastically turn from hate to support. Donc non, je... je... One in the chat if you miss Primic. Je vois vraiment pas ce qu'elle aurait à gagner à mentir sur ses objectifs. Amberlynn fully knows how to lose weight. I think she fully understands that if she wants to, she could probably just quite oh, easily guys. by being in the calorific deficit. But yeah, I think Amberlynn... I can't look away, I forgot, I need to read. Culture. Donc, si je suis bien leur raisonnement jusque-là, les gens auraient préféré qu'elle perde du poids. Ils pensent que c'est facile. Et donc, si elle a pris du poids au lieu d'en perdre, ben c'est que c'est forcément voulu et calculé et qu'elle... So it's confusing because... It's easier for her if she would lose weight in kind of the grand scheme donc, of how si YouTube is. Pris du poids au lieu d'en perdre, ben c'est que c'est forcément voulu et calculé et qu'elle l'a fait exprès. Est-ce que c'est si facile que ça de sortir de l'obésité? Is it that easy to no longer be obese? Je compte que cette question est complètement absurde, mais on va imaginer. And the way that people think it's easy, she thinks it's super absurd that people would think that. She's saying that because Inabber was like, all she really needs to do is a caloric deficit. But the thing is, is that like Inabber's also lost like 100 pounds. Mika in her vids, my French is... Oh, thank you. Um... <laughs> This disagrees with what healthcare professionals say. Juste après on va parler des tas de choses dont Amberlynn est accusée qui n'ont rien à voir avec son poids, mais je tiens vraiment à séparer les deux. A lot of the accusations of her as a person and the weight are should be two separate subjects. Okay. Soyons méthodiques. Bon spoiler, sortir de l'obésité, c'est très difficile. And it should be attached to her personality because real realistically it's really hard to no longer be obese. And then she says scoop de l'année is like <laughs> big <laughs> news. <laughs> <laughs> si on écoute ces détracteurs, Amberlynn n'a qu'à se tenir vraiment à un régime, c'est pas bien compliqué, et miracle, elle va maigrir. Um, I don't know what that word is. Wait. She listens to her detractors. Amberlynn n'a qu'à se tenir vraiment à un régime, c'est pas... Mais j'ai rire. There's just one word that's losing me. 
Yeah, hold on. I need to keep my French to English open just in case there's a what like there's what's like I said, there are going to be some words that like I've never heard before. Oh, it's weight loss. There's so if she just does the regimes that they if she has the diets that they want, she just should, she should just simply lose weight. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got, I got it. It's not complicated, and miracle, she will lose weight. Bah, no. I could talk about metabolism. Du corps qui a plein de ressources biologiques pour éviter de maigrir, bla bla bla, mais je vais aller droit. Au but, les régimes, ça ne marche pas. Je vous mets ici sur cette feuille deux vidéos trop cool pour comprendre tout ça. Encore pire, faire un régime augmente tes chances de prendre du poids par la suite. Je sais que ça semble complètement contraire intuitif et que ça va à l'encontre de tout ce qu'on entend au sujet des régimes dans les médias. Donc je vais t'expliquer un petit peu une expérience qui a été faite par le docteur Arman. Oh my god. Oui. OK, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Um it's all cool for you to know that. To repeat again, doing a diet okay. will help your chances. To gain weight quickly, which is completely contrary to the idea that people are having. À l'encontre de tout ce qu'on entend au sujet des régimes dans les médias, donc je vais t'expliquer un petit peu une expérience qui a été faite par le docteur Arman. And now I'm going to describe to you a um girl a, st a study done by doctors. Yeah, I know I was muted. Understand that there's a pretty significant delay in how YouTube, like, there's like a, I think a 20 second delay between what you're seeing and what I'm seeing. So, but thank you for telling me anyways. Pour cette étude, il a recruté plein de gens qui n'avaient jamais fait de régime de leur vie, et il a également recruté plein de gens qui étaient au régime ou qui avaient déjà fait des régimes par le passé, des gens qui avaient l'habitude de se restreindre niveau. She's just, she's just reading the study that um, she's just reading the study that says like people who do diets fail the diets and gain the weight back. Les gens qui ne se privaient jamais ont été divisés en deux groupes. La moitié a reçu un grand milkshake et l'autre moitié n'a rien reçu du tout. Les pauvres, ils avaient faim. Et ensuite, buffet à volonté de glace pour tout le monde. Ceux qui avaient eu le milkshake avant la glace, bah forcément, ils ont en moyenne mangé moins de glace que l'autre groupe. C'est logique. So what she's saying is that when people over what she's saying with the experiment is it's showing that people who over restrict might actually end up eating more as a result, which is relevant to Amberlynn Reed if the binge eating is true. But the thing is, is that Amber has decided that, or okay, let me, I shouldn't say it like that. Amberlynn Reed all of a sudden has met a new psychologist or something, and she's like, I actually don't have binge eating disorder twice. I have a, um, girl, let me think, food addiction, which, like, I can't comment on that because these uh, fake degrees in the background are like not medicine. So, um, but I can't talk about that because it's um, makes me seem smarter than I actually am. Actually, um, I'm sorry. I'm shady, but it's fun. Okay. Anyways. Ils avaient bu un milkshake, donc ils avaient plus faim, ou en tout cas moins faim. Jusque là, aucune surprise. Et puis on refait exactement la même expérience sur les gens qui avaient l'habitude des régimes, et là, le résultat est complètement contre-intuitif. Ceux qui avaient eu le milkshake ont mangé plus de glace. So what's happening is that the results of... It is the result of um, over or underindulging can... cause bad results and people think that the one on the right is like how it will actually work que ceux qui n'avaient pas eu le milkshake avant la glace. Donc là, on se rend compte déjà que faire des régimes ça provoque des trucs bizarres. Toutes les études à ce sujet ont la même conclusion. 
les régimes détraquent le système de la faim dans le cerveau et sur le long terme, ça fait manger encore plus. Mais les régimes, ça fait vraiment... All the studies are showing that over time, uh, the diet cycle can mess with your brain, then your eating cycles get all messed up. Et les lobbies font plus de bruit dans les médias que les scientifiques et donc le grand public continue de croire que les régimes, c'est cool. People like to listen to the media more than they like to listen to science, so people think... When you're saying c'est cool, it's like... Because you don't say like the diets, it's cool, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, that they're a good thing. Ça ne marche pas. Les chercheurs se sont work. rendu compte que se retenir volontairement de manger, ça détraque pas mal de choses dans le cerveau, notamment le système de la faim, et que ça crée des compulsions Oop. alimentaires. Si What happens is that all the tricks are getting messed up in your brain, and then your diet gets all messed up. Retiens de manger, ton cerveau va être encore plus focalisé, encore plus obsédé par la bouffe, et au final, t'as 9 chances sur 10 de craquer, de manger beaucoup plus que tu n'aurais mangé. And out of 9 out of 10 times, you actually end up eating more and gaining more weight than you would have if you never dieted. Tu t'étais jamais privé. Il y a quand même des pistes prometteuses, mais ça demande beaucoup de patience et d'être sacrément bien encadré par des professionnels. T'as déjà expliqué dans une autre vidéo. Oh, wow, this is sacrément, for... <laughs> Um... So essentially what she's saying is you need to actually listen to professionals when you're having these conversations. Vidéo que pour soigner l'anorexie mentale, ça demande d'être suivi par une équipe de psychiatres, de psychologues, de nutritionnistes, thérapeutes, de plein de professionnels de la santé, de la santé mentale, de partir ensemble, de réorganiser toute sa vie. On conçoit très bien que pour soigner l'anorexie mentale, il faut sortir les grands moyens, il faut réorganiser toute sa vie. Et ben pour l'obésité, c'est pareil. Bref. So when you're old, oh, Gus is under my desk. Hi! Hello! Oh. Hello! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hi! So she's saying that people with mental health disorders like anorexia are put in a position to um <laughs> to have to reorganize their whole life and everything that they know but in with obesity it should be considered the same thing as opposed to just being told to lose weight Bref, tout ça pour dire que si Amberlin n'a pas perdu de poids et que son obésité s'est aggravée au cours des années, il est beaucoup plus probable que ce soit parce que c'est plus difficile qu'à cause d'un... It's not because she's just stupid, it's because it's way more complicated than what they're considering it to be. Un quelconque complot pour de la YouTube monnaie. D'autant plus que quand Amberlin parle de ses difficultés avec la nourriture, c'est hyper raccord avec toutes les études à ce sujet. Because I'll do really good at something and then I will mess up, and then I'll do really good at something, and then I'll mess up. This used to happen to me a lot where I would lose like four Her just being bad with food is not as far as the subject goes. Pounds and then gain it back. Great when I first wake up, okay in the middle of the day, a wreck, a absolute wreck about seven hours later. I don't know how to control myself. <laughs> Personnellement, je crois pas du tout qu'elle a mis au point un complot pour de l'argent. Je pense plutôt qu'elle se bat, mais avec les mauvais outils. À savoir les régimes qui ont très certainement contribué à aggraver son rapport avec la nourriture. Ok, donc à ce stade, on dirait... So overall, obesity is more complicated than... Just lose weight. That's what she said. She just said that over like a bunch of lines. Très bien que c'est juste des clichés, un manque de connaissances sur l'obésité qui lui valent toute cette négativité en ligne. Et je suis justement tombée sur un trait de Twitter qui dénonce ça. There is a lot of really negative perception of obesity online, and she found a Twitter thread that denounces it. The thread dit en gros que bah les gens se cachent de. So there is a Twitter thread behind people who are like. I was supposed to defending Amberlynn Reed. Derrière les erreurs qu'Amberlynn a pu faire pour justifier qu'il la déteste, mais qu'en fait tout ça c'est que de la grossophobie. Et puis l'auteur du trade précise un petit peu plus loin que l'obésité morbide est principalement liée à des problèmes. Wait, can we find the thread? Hunting time. She put sources. 
Oh, she got one of those those thingies. Oh, I hate when people do this. I don't even understand how to scroll Kiwi Farms. Like, I don't understand it. This is why I put mine as, like, just live links. And I group them more because this is, like, too much to go through. Oh, she's in my chapters? Can I just... Here we go. Too many teas. Is it this one? Here we go. Oh, that's why uh, she censored it. I thought it was like somebody's name. I didn't realize it was going to be a bad word. So a lot of people are just fighting that her weight's not the issue. She lied about having ligma. This is a reaction channel, by the way. Um, and then there aren't medical reasons to falsely accuse someone of that word. Um, only thing it took for y'all to scredit her was the person denying it. Uh, abuse animals. That's referring to, well, this person is referring to Twinkie. There was also like losing the cat Gracie, throwing a, a throwing back the dog that clipped with Destiny, uh, stuff like that. Link me to the scam. Well, the scam would be the jewelry she was selling, uh, the Patreon she never did, the OnlyFans she started and never did. So there'd be a couple of things. Dog is overweight, needs to be groomed. The, I think there were ingrown nails and stuff, which is uh, be a little more than that. Oh, here we go. Michael B. Petty coming into the trenches. The least because Amberlyn Reed knows who's wrong and take accountability. Is this his video? Ah! Darn it. Oh, the GoFundMe scam. Well, yeah. Um, YDHB has not um, uploaded in like a really long time. The, what is it? One month ago. Rest in piss, loser. No, but, like, you, you go to, like, hateful cause. She got rid of, like, all the videos that, like, anyone actually gave a shit about. This is all that's left. She got rid of all of her, um, Amberlynn Reed content. Which is really strange because the problem is, who is gonna believe that you got 70k subs off of videos where your most popular video is 23,000 views? River dance, yes, on the graves of my enemies. Because if we go to my Super Slay iconic channel, let's make sure we click on your channel and not the studio, because that will dox me. Um, I have just shy 32, right? And then if we go like this, right? Like, that's way more... Like, that makes... Under, like... My view counts are high for my subscriber base. But even like if we scroll down a bit, like you see how most of the like a lot of the videos are 80, 70, like the 50K range I hit or the 40, let's say like 40 to 50K range I hit pretty often. So, you know, it's like. Or 30 to 50, I'll say. So it's like... 
this makes sense to this, right? But there's no way your most popular video, if your most popular video has significantly less subscribers, or sorry, if your most popular video has significantly less views than your subscriber count, two things have happened. Either you deleted a bunch of stuff or you sub bought it because that doesn't happen. How could not even, I think if you added all of these videos together, it might be 100,000 at most. Let me think. Can I do math? 23. Oh, ew, ew, ew. I think that. Go away, loser. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I just don't like bigots. Uh, easy peasy banana squeezy. All right. Uh, 23, 33 plus eight is going to be, um, 41, 48. I'm just rounding because I don't want to think that much. 55, 61, 66, 71, 78. Nope. 71, 76, 81. 85, 90, 94, 98, 102, 104, 106, give or take, uh, 109, 112, 116, and 100, just shy of 120,000 views total of every single video added together if we take this 100 uh 107,000 221,000 uh 310,000 like it's like uh, she it, it's lies upon lies suck to suck sarah rest in piss let's continue de santé mentale. Et c'est là que les réponses sont très intéressantes parce qu'elles me permettent de savoir de quoi elle est accusée exactement à ce stade. Il n'y a pas de raison médicale pour accuser... So people are saying that... Her channel about says total views are 120,000. Yeah, I said just shy 120, right? But I did, I counted them because I like numbers. Uh, so what she's saying is that people were saying other reasons besides obesity de violateur pour maltraiter des animaux, arnaquer les gens, etc. C'est une menteuse narcissique. Ok, là on a du concret, on va voir tout ça. Amberlin a arnaqué... Now that we have something gens. concrete, we can look at things more. Anarchie déjà. That's another word I don't know. Scam. Ok. So they say that Amberlin Reed scams people. YouTube, si je tape Amberlin Reed... I have 2.7 million total views. I forgot. Why don't I have 100k subs? I want 100k subs only so I can put the plaque in the background. And then when I like teach people online, it scares them. Gus, were you just over here? Oh, hello. He's sitting under my desk again. What a cutie. Uh, he just tries to eat my crocs sometimes. That's why I get nervous. Raid Arnaque, la première vidéo qui sort m'explique ce drama. Amberlyn Reed. Okay, so here's the first video explaining the drama. Both on a GoFundMe fundraiser as well as asking everybody to watch the ads in her videos. En 2019, Amberlyn sort avec une jeune femme du nom de Becky. Malheureusement, la maman de Becky a un cancer du sein. So, um, in 2019, she had a girlfriend named Becky, and Becky's mom had cancer. Vous savez, aux États-Unis, les soins de santé c'est pas comme ici. Si so now she's saying in the United States, healthcare is not like here. She's about to explain the European healthcare system. Assurance, bah, faut payer plein tarif. Et si t'as pas d'argent, if you don't have, tu meurs. Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry, that's actually funny. Um, if you don't have the money, you just fucking die, lol. Is what she said pretty much. <laughs> um, and so Amberlynn publicly in the video shared a goal, fo a GoFundMe, so that they could pay for, so that we, they could pay for mo uh, Becky's mom's fees. Agreed that we want to share a GoFundMe. Elle prévoit également de reverser tous les revenus générés par sa vidéo à la maman de Becky. Sauf que très peu de temps après la. She would give all the money from that video to Becky's mom. Sortie de cette vidéo, les premières révélations, il y a une capture d'écran qui se met à circuler partout. Sur cette capture. So the first thing that kind of caused some issues was a comment that was circulating. 
And she put it up for like a half second. She might read in French, actually. Uh, hi, Michael. My, my is Annie. I'm Becky's mom. Very best friend. I want to make something very clear. She's trying to bring all the attention to herself. As always, we all should know. We, we should already know Becky's mother has breast cancer and no, she does not help at all. So it's like a comment, um, relating to somebody claiming that they are, you know, Oh, Gus, I keep poking your tummy with my shoes. Sorry. I keep forgetting Gus is... Gus always says I'm at my boyfriend's desk, so I'm not used to him being here. ...a circulé partout. Sur cette capture, une femme se présente comme la meilleure amie de la maman de Becky, et elle a beaucoup de choses à dire. Bon, déjà, so, this is some lady who claimed to be Becky's mom's best friend, she had a lot of shit to say. Je peux vous dire que la madame qui a écrit ce post sur Facebook n'aime pas beaucoup Amberly. Dans son The lady that was writing this really doesn't like Amberlynn. She's saying that in this post... Amberlynn's a bitch. I did not know it was the bitch. Excuse me, I gotta be honest. Bref just means well. Kind of. Notamment Amberlynn the bitch. Bref, la madame dit que Amberlynn n'aide pas du tout. Pour dire trois lignes plus loin. Uh, she's saying that overall Amberlynn Reed did not help at all. Que Amberlynn a donné 100 dollars pour aider pour le transport. And Moshi is given 100 dollars transport to hospital. C'est pas ce que j'appelle ne pas aider du tout. Mais le trajet durait 7 heures. Et Which overall in the grand scheme of things is no help at all. On dû rester deux nuits à l'hôtel. Donc on comprend que 100 dollars ça suffit pas pour tout payer. Mais madame. Yeah, bref is like a filler word though. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like pre is like a P in Quebec. The, the Quebecois ça dit P. But like... You know, something like that. Um, Berlin, lui... Girl, what? Don't find this is so. It's so piece. It's not sufficient for to carry me, madame. Okay, so a hundred dollars is not much, but lady. Ça suffit pas pour tout. Uh, what do you want to do? It's not Amberlynn Reed's mom. Bon, Berlin, elle lui doit rien du tout. Also, hello, Nova. C'est même pas sa maman, c'est déjà bien sympa de... Yeah. Donner 100 balles, enfin. Et maintenant, il faut qu'elle se fasse à nouveau opérer, et la place, elle parle dans Berlin, est inquiète parce qu'elle doit uploader une vidéo stupide juste parce qu'elle aime trop l'argent. En réponse... With the surgery that's going on, all Amberlynn Reed cares about is uploading videos for herself because she's money hungry. Ça, ça, parce en fait, c'est une capture d'écran d'une discussion entre deux personnes. Bref, en réponse à ça, la sœur de Becky va défendre Amberlynn. Elle dit qu'Amberlynn a. With all of this, Becky's sister came in to defend Amberlynn Reed. Énormément aidée, et elle rappelle que Amberlynn doit uploader des vidéos pour gagner de l'argent. Elle donnait à la maman de Becky. Mais oui. Um, LMAO, she has to upload videos to have money to help my mom. Oui, l'argent qu'elle doit donner, tu veux qu'elle le sorte d'où Je vous rappelle que c'est ces vidéos stupides qui remplissent le GoFundMe. Dans la vidéo d'Amberlynn... The videos that are stupid will replace a GoFundMe. À un moment, Becky explique qu'ils ont dû faire deux heures et demie de route pour aller à l'hôpital, sauf que... It was revealed by... So it takes two and a half hours to get to the hospital. Uh, Becky's mother's best friend... The drive was seven hours. Il est aussi fort probable que Becky dise la vérité et que la femme qui traite Amberlynn de pétisse pour avoir donné... Seul... Um, there's a difference in the amount of time it's taking to drive, so it's weird to say only $100 was given. $100 de sa poche en plus du GoFundMe mente ou se trompe sur la durée d'un voyage pour lequel elle n'était pas présente. Possible. Et puis en plus, qu'est-ce qu'on s'en fout Qu'est-ce que ça change Qu'est-ce qu'on s'en fiche de savoir qui a menti This is so crazy, what does this change Sur la durée du trajet. Que le trajet ait duré 2 heures ou 7 heures, qu'est-ce que ça change Ça fait de mal à personne. Um, if it's 2 hours or 7 hours, what difference does it really make Si un mensonge vraiment, il sert à rien. À l'écran, le youtubeur écrit Il a été révélé que le GoFundMe a été créé par la sœur de Becky. Il a été révélé en Berlin. A... It has been revealed that the GoFundMe was made by Becky's sister. And then she goes, Was it really revealed Il dit autre chose dans sa vidéo Elle aurait menti à ce sujet I'm asking for. You know, they talked about it in the video. I don't see what the problem is. Help on this GoFundMe. It was set up by my sister. Eh ben non, c'est précisément la version d'Amberlynn. Il aurait été révélé. So she's saying that's so weird for them to say that it was revealed. 
because that doesn't really make sense when they said it in the video. The scoop. And she's annoyed at this concept of people having the scoop. Donc bon, là, ça commence déjà à partir en drama parce que ouh là là, Amberlin a menti sur la durée d'un trajet. Bou, c'est mal. So people like to talk about things because if Amberlin Reed's related to it, it's bad. Um, the source is. Someone who could have potentially pretended to be your friend. Une random qui prétend être amie avec la famille, preuve. Et en vrai, cette random n'est pas si random que ça. Appelons-la Cunégonde. Cunégonde est très active. En... Who in the Lord's name is Cunégonde? I saw how she said it, but I wanted to say it in English. Who is that? Is that a person? Is that a thing? I don't know. What is that? Cunégonde. I don't know what that is. Someone help me. W chat, whatever Aiden Ross says, help me. What's the Cunegonde? Is that a person? What is that? Oh, it's a character or something. Okay. I don't know what that means. A uh, reference I don't understand because I'm, um... No, Cunegonde is a, is a person. It's a character. My boyfriend oh, just looked it up. Beaucoup sur beaucoup de forums. Elle laisse beaucoup de commentaires sous pas mal Preuve, et en vrai, cette random n'est pas si random que ça. Appelons-la Cunégonde. Cunégonde est très active en ligne, elle parle beaucoup sur beaucoup de forums, elle laisse beaucoup de commentaires sous pas mal de vidéos. En lisant certains de ses posts et commentaires en ligne, on y apprend qu'elle suit en bas. Oh, so it's... It's... Oh, she's like pretending that's their name. Whoever said the language of love clearly never got to the numbers part. Yeah, I love seeing like years like 1997. Oh, uh, je suis née en 1997. Girl. I think English spoken with a French accent is peak, not the Quebec French accent. And after that, we're going uh, to drive in my truck and go to the races. I have to go get a haircut after that. You know what I mean? Not good. Berlin assidûment depuis 2015. Elle est tellement active en ligne pour parler dans Berlin que certains youtubeurs ont même commencé à remarquer la récurrence de ses commentaires. A lot of people will talk about Amberlynn Reed online, and then they will go through the comments. For the videos. There is a person by the name of a Cunegonde. who has been acting. So what she's doing is like, essentially, you know how people will like replace a name, like let's say Billy Bob Joe. She's Cunegonde is a, is a is a French character, so she's just changed the name. That's what it is. We've gotten to the scoop. In the comments uh, of both my channel. Okay, so Cunegonde. She had left this comment on my um, video that I had posted in regards to Amberlynn quitting keto. Pour laisser des commentaires du type, elle est la personne la plus répugnante et la plus contrôlante au monde. Sauf que pendant mes recherches, je suis tombée sur un truc très intéressant qu'elle a posté sur un groupe Facebook dédié à dire du mal d'Amberlynn. Oui, déjà, faut vous faire... So, she was saying in the research, she found some really interesting things, like a Facebook group dedicated to talking smack about Amberlynn Reed. Um, and it's shocking the number of groups of in different social media that she found. Cette info, il y a de nombreux groupes sur plein de réseaux sociaux dont le seul but est de bitcher sur le dos You're doing that, it's giving me CPAC rescue flashbacks. Yeah, I also translated the CP... What? Hold on. When was the super iconic CPAP rescue? That was one of the best instances, like that was one of the the best things that ever happened on the internet. Like I hate to be that person. I remember I even explained like where she lives in proximity to like where I grew up and stuff. Um Yeah, I translated it. Right. <laughs> Look, I am laughing because literally my whole family sounds like the police officers. Right. So you see these French cops arguing. And then I translated it, I think. On YouTube, on Facebook, on when they start speaking okay. French. She's here because she wants. She's here because. Uh, okay. Yeah. See, I translated. I've I've used my French class before. 
Oh my god, this is one of the most like iconic things to ever happen on the internet. But yeah, see, get a piece of uh, paper for the case number. Yeah, I translated the French police officers. So, I've been in the trenches. En Berlin. Bref, Cunegon y raconte comment elle est devenue amie avec la maman de Becky, et si vous voulez mon avis, je trouve leur rencontre très suspecte. So this person who claims to be Becky's friend, she's found some stuff that's like super sus. Cunegon de regarder beaucoup la chaîne en Berlin depuis plusieurs années, et un jour dans un de ses vlogs en Berlin montre. She has been commenting for years on um, Emmerlin reads different things, and through vlogs and other things not related. Bah, une petite décoration de table que la maman de Becky fabrique. En gros, elle fabriquait ces choses-là et elle les vendait en ligne. Cunégonde a donc décidé d'acheter une de ces décorations de table et c'est donc comme ça qu'elle a eu le contact de la maman de Becky et d'après elle, c'est comme ça qu'elle se serait rapprochée. Au moment où Cunégonde... Becky was selling some sort of decoration and then that's how she got into contact with Becky's mom. Cunégonde, Cunégonde this like fake person. Said. Well, this person who allegedly exists but like she's like blocked out the name. C'est l'horrible mensonge d'un Berlin qui a menti sur la durée d'un trajet ça fait même pas un an qu'elle a parlé pour la toute première fois à la maman de Becky. Mais elles sont trop des So the reason why she, oh, la meilleure amie. The reason that she even knows Becky's mom in the first place was because of Amberlynn. Oh, what a real actual bestie. Du monde. Vu de l'extérieur, on dirait vraiment que c'est quelqu'un qui a acheté un truc juste dans le but de se rapprocher de l'entourage d'une youtubeuse qui s'en It's so là. weird to buy something you just become in proximity with somebody who is on YouTube. Um Obstay. I know what that word is, but I forgot. Uh, who you are beginning to, that you, you obsessively hate over. And then through that, you got to Becky's mom. I don't really like that. Pas mal l'obsédé. Et perso, si j'étais la maman de Becky, je n'aimerais pas du tout que ma meilleure amie bitch sur le dos de ma belle-fille en ligne. Bref, source peu fiable. And then now she's a... A bitch online. Pour le début de ce drama, the mais le drama n'est pas fini. Il y a une autre madame qui va faire son apparition et qui va révéler qu'en fait le GoFundMe c'est une grosse arnaque. Cette fois, so now this person is claiming that the GoFundMe is a big issue. C'est l'ex-femme de de Marie de la maman de Becky. Wait, what do you mean ex-girlfriend or ex-wife? Was just Becky's mom? Like, was she married to a girl? Wait, I, I, we, we're getting a little bit lost in the sauce. Hold on. C'est l'ex-femme du mari de la maman de Becky qui s'exprime. Donc, Amberlynn sort avec Becky. Oh, she's making me a chart. Becky good, 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 good. Sa maman s'est remariée. Yeah, yeah. Ce monsieur, yeah, yeah. c'est donc le beau-père de Becky. Et mm -hmm, ce monsieur mm -hmm. a une ex-femme. Bref. Oh, okay, so it's... Okay, 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 okay. Becky's stepdad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was getting lost in the sauce. Yeah, it's like, um, there was just a, it was one of those things where it was like, you know, your, your second cousins, you know, you know, why am I responding to a tweet right now? I should not be dumb. Focus, Mika, come on now. Cette fameuse ex-femme écrit sur un forum. Amberlyn, Becky et sa maman essayent d'arnaquer des gens naïfs sur GoFundMe. Elle explique ensuite que son ex-mari était militaire et que grâce à ce statut, bah, il bénéficie d'une assurance santé. So, it doesn't really make sense because the person had military, was married to somebody in the military, military has really, really good health insurance. Il s'appelle Tricard, dont normalement sa femme peut bénéficier. Donc, si les soins de santé de la maman... The wife could benefit from this. Becky sont pris en charge par Tricard, bah, le GoFundMe c'est une grosse arnaque puisque les soins de santé sont déjà payés par l'assurance. Du coup il y a plein de gens qui demandent à être remboursés sur le GoFundMe, enfin vraiment c'est un drama qui prend de l'ampleur. J'ai vérifié et si ce que cette femme dit est vrai, donc que l'ex-mari était vraiment... So what she's saying, the lady on the, on the internet is like, yo, there's no reason for the uh, GoFundMe if the benefits are in place, is Gus still under here? Yes he is. Um, and uh, if the benefits are in place because of the military, because of, I would believe, Jerry then there's no reason for the GoFundMe to be put in place. The thing is, is that I feel like people don't realize this even applies for, like, free healthcare. It's like, you don't make money when you're, like, sick, right? Like, even if the healthcare... Like, in Canada, this is a thing, too. It's like, people will not go to the doctor because they can't take the day off work. 
Like, so it's like, you still would need money. Like, besides that, like, this is not a really valid point, I think. Because, like, you still need to, like, make money to not die. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Any hoozles? militaire et qu'il est vraiment marié à la maman de Becky, bah alors effectivement la maman de Becky devrait bénéficier de l'assurance Tricard. Et puis j'ai quand même voulu vérifier dans la liste des soins pris en charge par Tricard et là je découvre que Tricard ne couvre pas les mastectomies. Ok, so what she's saying is is that when she saw the military benefits, she went around on the Googles and found what the Tricare coverage is and does not cover the required surgery that Becky's mom needs sous-cutanée visant à soigner un cancer du sein. Ça m'a pris deux minutes à vérifier. Mais pourquoi cette femme sortirait de... It only took me two minutes to verify that. That's such a stupid thing, though. That's so dumb. Why would a insurance not cover the surgery you need to... I don't want to say cure the disease, but like, you know what I mean. That's so stupid. America... Oh, God, y'all, healthcare system makes me... Sick. Like, ours is bad, too, but, like, not even close. Like, good lord. Sell your soul to the military. If you survive, you have less likely chance of dying at the hands of the healthcare system. But we still, like, won't treat your cancer, though. Bro. Raison de vouloir du mal à la nouvelle femme de son ex-mari. Elle a aucune raison de souhaiter du mal de son ex-mari, même si elle nous dit elle-même qu'il doit de l'argent et qu'elle l'accuse de violence domestique. Mais non, non, il n'y a aucune raison qu'elle souhaite du mal de son ex-mari. Why would you uh, make accusations about the ex-wife, even though she seems like a really bad person? Sa nouvelle compagne, elle, elle dit forcément la vérité. Bon, j'ai quand même été vérifier les autres. And even if what she's saying cannot be verified. poste de cette personne sur ce forum et qui que soit cette personne, ex-femme ou imposteur, le moins qu'on puisse dire c'est qu'elle a une dent contre Amberlin. Regardless of if this person is ex-wife or um, other, she is an Amberlin hater. Et contre les gros en règle générale. Son premier poste sur ce forum c'est je l'ai rencontré en vrai, elle pèse clairement 300. Um, and it's suspicious when you look further because the first post she made on this for on this forum is uh, clairement 300 kilograms uh, means uh, oh, she's clearly 300 kilograms, 600 pounds. Which, 300 kilograms would actually be like 660, but... And on this website, this person does not post on the things that they're talking Thank about. Sur ce site, cette personne ne poste que sur les pages qui parlent d'Amberlin, de Becky et de sa famille. Et 9 fois sur 10, c'est pour dire à quel point ils sont tous gros. Ils peuvent pas me... And we're on these things that she's posting, talking smack about Amberlynn Reed, nine out of ten times, it's like entirely based on the weight. Pour suivre PTDR, ils sont trop gros. Toute la famille est grosse. On dirait qu'Amberlynn a pris son bain mensuel dans le lac. Ah bah oui, parce qu'une baignoire. Wait, Toute I... la famille est grosse. On dirait qu'Amberlynn... Um, she's taking her month, her infrequent bath in the lake. Oh, and the lake is too small if you don't get the joke, haha. Uh, it's so funny that she's so big, she has to bathe in the lake. Uh, well, we can read that right there. She's bigger than I thought she was. Uh, this person is saying how they would love to be able to film Emerlyn Reed in the Chinese restaurant without her knowing. Mais qu'elle doit encore voir comment mettre ça en place. Ça va, madame? Non, parce que là, vous faites peur un peu. Et ça? Are you okay, lady? Because, like, clearly you're not. Ah, cette madame... C'est une source fiable selon certains youtubeurs. You seem to have this like weird sense with like and like uh, obsession to some extent of, with certain youtubers. Amberlin a vraiment arnaqué les gens. C'est pas comme si une recherche Google suffisait à prouver le contraire. 
you obviously have Amberlynn Reed on the mind a lot. And if you look on Google, there are things that can um, contradict your claims. Bref, la sainte parole de cette charmante personne va être prise comme l'absolue vérité et va être relayée partout sur Internet. Et boum, Amberlynn arnaque des gens. People do not verify things on the Internet. The ladies mean. Chante. It's probably one of the most terrible things I've ever seen. Ah, juste dernier détail, dans sa caption, ce youtubeur fait un petit récap de qui est qui. Donc on a la meilleure amie de Norma, Norma c'est la maman de Becky, la fille de Norma, la sœur de Becky, la maman de Becky, le mari de Norma, l'ex-femme, la dénonciatrice, et puis on a Amberlynn qui est décrite comme... So what they're saying is um, the video had a detailing of all of the members related in this saga. Obviously she blocked out again. Uh, the person... <sighs> um and uh, yeah and Amberlynn is written oh, in a funny way in a joke de la bouffe est-ce que c'était le sujet non parce que là je suis en train d'essayer de prouver que si on déteste Amberlynn ce n'est pas à cause de son poids if you hate Amberlynn Reed that should not be at the leading cause of your point tu pas du tout monsieur le youtuber When you're doing things like that, you're not helping yourself in your argumentation. Accusation suivante, Amberlynn est une... Next accusation is Amberlynn Reed is a manipulator. Amberlynn is a liar. Depuis sa vidéo où Amberlynn avoue avoir menti sur ce qu'elle a mangé, plus personne ne la croit. Um, the main preface, uh, precipice of the issue is that Amberlynn eats more than people would know. En fait, elle ment tout le temps. Sur tout sur n'importe quoi, mais surtout sur des futilités. She lies about being... She, she eats or she doesn't, no matter what, it's a lie. Alert or she does things or she doesn't. Et comment est-ce qu'on sait qu'elle a menti sur son allergie aux œufs Comme si c'était important. Why are people fixating on an egg allergy as if it has any importance When it comes to scrambled eggs, I'm gonna be honest. Eggs. Yes. Sorry. They sometimes make me feel nauseous, and it's because I have an allergy to them. How do you like your eggs? À ce sujet, c'est toujours les mêmes extraits qui tournent. Sur le premier extrait, on voit Amberlynn expliquer que les œufs lui donnent parfois la nausée parce qu'elle a un genre d'allergie slash intolérance. Et puis en fait, elle a menti parce que dans une vidéo précédente, on la voit manger des œufs. Bon. The big lie is that in one video she says she has an allergy to eggs and the next video she's eating eggs. Déjà, les intolérances, ça se développe avec le temps. Par exemple, moi, j'ai du mal avec le fructose. J'ai pu manger tous les fruits du monde pendant toute ma jeunesse et puis. Ah, uh, she's saying that over time you can develop an intolerance. Um, fructose, is that still fructose in French, or is that sugars? But I've never seen someone say they're allergic to fructose. But in the, whatever, the first 20 years of her life, she could eat as much of it as she wants. Puis vers plus ou moins 18 ans, on s'est rendu compte que je digérais plus du tout les bananes. But providers can submit appeal to insurance for medical necessity. Okay, um, I'm just saying, as far as the uh, as the uh, American healthcare system works, I don't understand that I do not know the extent of the U.S. healthcare system. Okay, here we go. Quelques années plus tard, ça a été les pamplemousses, puis quelques années plus tard, ça a été les tomates. Enfin bref, il est possible. Okay, so she's saying that over time, it was hard to eat, like, so fructose, she means like sugar, uh, fruit sugars. Quand Berlin n'ait pu manger des œufs toute sa vie sans aucun problème, et puis qu'un beau jour, avec le temps, elle... So what she's saying is that it's possible for her to have been able to eat eggs all of her life, and then the intolerance developed over time. However, I think that is refutable by the order of the videos, right? It's like... Unless she says that like she pushes through it anyways, which is possible. Tu te rends compte qu'elle peut plus les digérer, ça arrive. Tu aussi vous allez essayer de me faire croire que vous n'avez jamais vu un intolérant au lactose qu'on se met du lait quand même juste parce que c'est bon. So she's saying um with all of the people who are allergic to milk, like do they never just not consume milk because it's good? So she's saying like bold of y'all to be like man, it's so stupid that she's allergic to eggs, but then you're allergic to milk and you eat cheese. Non non mais vous en faites pas, il y, y a beaucoup d'autres preuves. Promis. Depuis la vidéo. Besides that, there's a lot of other proofs. Elle avoue avoir menti sur son régime. Plein de gens se mettent à spéculer sur son poids. Est-ce qu'elle... Um, on this video, I forgot Cette what she said it was called. Uh, I am starting my own diet. I have started my own diet. Yeah. In the... Which I said, no, that was a video that was called. 
Ah. Et, euh, sur son ah. régime, plein de gens se mettent à spéculer sur son poids. Est-ce qu'elle dit... On that video, there are a ton of people who are speculating on her weight. Dis la vérité. Est-ce qu'elle cache ce qu'elle mange? Est-ce qu'elle cache... Uh, they're wondering with the validity of anything she's saying. Is she hiding what she's eating? Is she hiding health problems? Is she diabetic? Ses problèmes de santé. Elle a du diabète, c'est sûr. On spécule sur des problèmes de santé qu'elle cacherait à Internet. Et puis sa copine a pris du poids depuis qu'elles sont ensemble. Pourquoi est-ce qu'Amberlin dit le contraire ça, ça se voit. Et puis quand elle va au magasin, elle prend un petit scooter pour personne à mobilité réduite. Et elle dit toujours que c'est pas à cause de son... Son poids, mais c'est parce qu'elle a mal aux pieds, parce qu'elle porte pas les bonnes chaussures. Elle ment, elle ment, c'est fort. People are freaking out about everything about her, including the fact that she doesn't wear shoes that people like. And overall, she's the driving cause for her weight. C'est moi à cause de son poids. Alors un jour, Amberlyn décide de répondre et d'avouer. Tout ce sur quoi elle a pu mentir ces dernières années. Elle a toujours mal vécu les critiques des gens sur Internet, donc elle se dit qu'avec une vidéo honnête où elle admet ce que les gens veulent entendre. Um, this has become such a big thing on the internet. She had to make a video where she was admitting to the lies that she thinks to kind of um, manage her relationship with the haters. Ça calmera les haters. Voilà donc la liste complète de tous les mensonges qu'elle avoue dans cette vidéo. Quand elle a déménagé, she is going through on a list every single thing that she brought forward in the video. So. Um, I just need to check something again. Because sometimes, like, the way that I think the word is contextually doesn't... Yeah, okay, I was right. So, one of them is the reason that she's had to move. I just don't know this video well, so the context is confusing me a little bit. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Elle a dit que c'était pour se rapprocher de ses proches. Mais en vérité, c'est parce que sa copine avait des problèmes en Floride et que c'était privé. De... Uh, she was saying that... Wait. Pour se rapprocher de ses proches. To get closer to people. But it turns out proches. is that her girlfriend had problems in Florida that were private. C'est parce que sa copine avait des problèmes en Floride et que c'était privé. Donc Amberlyn ne voulait pas en parler. And Amberlyn Reed did not want to discuss them online. Donc moi, Joseph, un peu. Puis là, il me semble qu'elle voulait juste protéger. Oh, first the eggs are a problem, and now she doesn't want to share her private life on the internet. Protéger la vie privée de sa copine. Passons. Deuxième mensonge. Par le passé, elle a dit qu'elle était en froid avec sa tante. Ah, the reason that she had a fallout with her aunt, and she's saying that she's had. Oh, hold on. I have to start that one. La vie privée de sa copine. Passons. Deuxième mensonge. Par le passé, elle a dit qu'elle était en froid avec sa tante à cause de son poids. Mais dans... She's saying before that she had an argument with her aunt because of her weight. Cette vidéo, Amberlyn avoue que c'était à cause d'autres problèmes. And what she's saying is that her weight and, and was, there was other problems beyond that. Amberlyn nous explique qu'à l'époque, elle avait perçu ce conflit comme étant lié à son poids. Uh, she's saying, I think, at Puck is uh, Easter. So she's having... I think that's what she was meaning. Or it might mean something else. Point is, she was having an argument about her weight, and she wasn't understanding her. People want to understand that it is beyond that for the cause. What in the hell is Osef? Is that even a word? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Google Translate doesn't even understand it. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's keep going. On comprend bien, mais c'est pas un mensonge, c'est plutôt une erreur de jugement. Beyond that, it is a bit more going on, and it's more so an error of judgment. And there is kind of lies. Deuxième mensonge, elle avoue qu'elle n'a pas toujours été honnête avec son poids et qu'elle avait tendance à cacher quand elle en reprenait. I, I don't need the backlash. 
at all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. Ensuite, elle avoue que quand on lui a demandé si sa copine avait pris du poids et qu'elle a répondu non, c'était faux. Amberlyn explique qu'elle voulait. So she's saying that she has gained weight. When people are asking if she's gained weight, she said no, it's false. And she's saying that she just wants to share her to her. Uh, what she wants to just kind of share things with her friends doesn't want her weight exposed online. Cinquième mensonge, elle a exagéré ses horaires de travail. I felt so guilty about my life in Virginia. The last one is that she lied about the issue she had with work. I lived with my ex-girlfriend for almost four years without a job, and I lived off of her parents. And Meaning, um, she did not have a job, but she was living there. What that means? I got a lot of, a lot of beef because of that online. So I wanted, I wanted you guys to be proud of me, and I. I didn't want you guys to think I was some helpless person. Sixième mensonge, elle a caché qu'elle avait une tension artérielle élevée. En même temps, les youtubeurs sont. Um, sixth lie, she hides that she has. Um, so tension uh, artérielle élevée would be high. Would assume hypertension. Because Sixième heightened mensonge, heart tension. Elle a caché qu'elle avait une tension artérielle élevée. En même temps, les youtubeurs sont pas tenus de donner leur dossier médical. Um, holy Moses, it's a really big pain in my booty that all these YouTubers think that they're doctors. Um, it is up to her to look to her health. Shut up. Elle nous explique qu'elle avait honte de l'avouer, mais qu'en fait, effectivement, quand elle prend les petits scooters de mobilité dans les magasins, ben en fait... So, she didn't really talk much about what's actually going on there. Um... Unless some of the Frenchy, uh, French besties in the chat have a bit more of an idea. Yeah, it's just like that. She's saying that people are saying that she needs to confess to every single thing that's ever happened to her. Effective immediately. And then with these issues, they're bringing up the next thing, which is the scooters in the store. Ben en fait, c'est parce que vu son poids, tout est devenu difficile pour elle. Est-ce qu'un seul de um, the event, this is the idea that eventually the weight becomes too difficult for her. Ces mensonges fait d'elle une mauvaise personne. À part les deux premiers de la liste que je trouve. It's weird that these lies that they're saying, which I have talked about, would make her a bad person. Pour assez aux F, on peut tous les résumer de cette manière. Elle voulait juste se protéger de la vie négative des. Um, with everything in here, except for the first two. I don't know what OSEF is. I've never heard that in my life. The problem is, is that it's making it a little bit confusing for me. I'm going to write in the chat. Because I think that's a um, term I'm not aware of. Yeah, but like what's OSEF? Because the thing is, is that OSEF is throwing me off. That's because it's making it confusing for me to understand what she's trying to say. Seul de mobilité dans les magasins, ben en fait, c'est parce que vu son poids, tout est devenu difficile pour elle. Est-ce qu'un seul de ces mensonges fait d'elle une mauvaise personne À part les deux premiers de la liste que je trouve assez aux F, on peut tous les résumer de cette manière. Elle voulait juste se protéger de la vie négative des gens en ligne. Et j'arrive pas à la blâmer pour ça. Besides the first two, it's because she doesn't want to share every single... Oh, it's couldn't care less. Like, that makes way more sense. Okay, so that, okay, I get it now. So besides the first two, which I couldn't care less about, all of the other ones, all the other quote-unquote lies that people are bringing up are because she doesn't want to share every single negative aspect with people online. I'll say foo. Oh! Well, it's because I'm, yeah, okay. Again, it's, uh, it's a fun time of, like, Accent different, so me not know what word's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it now. I get it. I get it. It's because it's written like O S E F, which makes no sense. Like, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say foo. I know what that is. All right. I'll say foo in English directly would just mean like it's stupid. It's silly. But it means like I don't care. Feelings as 
Amberlin espérait qu'avec cette vidéo, les gens allaient recommencer à la croire qu'elle allait récupérer la confiance d'Internet. So she's hoping that with this video, she could kind of regain some sort of confidence with her audience. Ça a fait tout le contraire. Désormais, However, this actually ended up making things way worse. Mais à partir de ce point, les gens vont encore plus décortiquer le moindre de ces faits et gestes pour y trouver. This kind of spiral where people would actually begin to pick harder at everything that she's doing. Des contradictions et prouver qu'elle ment. D'ailleurs, une YouTube. And people were looking at every single possible contradiction kind of under a microscope. YouTube, avec pas mal d'influence dans le milieu, a fait une espèce de vidéo qui compilait les contradictions dans le milieu. There was a point where people actually invented a space where they would compile every single possible contradiction that Amberlynn Reid makes. Berlin, et elle l'a intitulé Amberlynn Reid, s'il te plaît, réponds à ces contradictions. And then they would make these videos and be like, Amberlynn, pre please. I'm sorry, Amberlynn, please respond to the contradictions. I learned how to do sign language, A, B, C, D, E, whatever, I don't need to do it all. I learned how to do that when I was... I think 10 or 11, and after I learned how to do the ABCs of sign language. L'incohérence ici, c'est que quelqu'un un jour a demandé à Amberlynn quelle langue elle aimerait bien parler de manière courante et qu'elle a répondu la langue des signes. Ah oui, c'est un. So this is because somebody said, what language would you want to be able to learn fluently besides the one that you speak? And she said sign language, which contradicts the idea that she knew it when she was 11, whatever. Berlin, quelle langue elle aimerait bien parler de manière courante et qu'elle a répondu la langue des signes. Ah oui, c'est un mensonge ça. Parce que d'un côté, elle dit qu'elle aimerait. Of course, it's a lie because she, uh, she said that earlier she knew it well and she liked signer. it. Enfin, signer, signer, ça veut dire parler la langue des signes. Donc, d'un côté, elle dit qu'elle aimerait bien apprendre à signer et de l'autre, elle dit qu'elle avait déjà appris l'alphabet. And what she's saying is that all she knew of it really was the alphabet. J'ai pas du tout fini mon apprentissage de la langue des signes. Je suis encore très 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 loin d'être à l'aise pour signer. Mais je... uh, I have not gone really far into my learning of sign language, but I can guarantee you. Garantir que connaître l'alphabet. That knowing the alphabet does not mean that you are fluent in the language, or that you are bilingual in sign language. Ne fais pas de toi une personne bilingue en langue des signes. Pas du tout. C'est aussi absurde que. It's actually crazy because um, if you only knew the like, that's as if you were saying, oh, I know the alphabet in English, therefore I speak, si or like, I know the alphabet, therefore I speak a language. Ça veut dire que tu sais parler le russe. If you knew the Russian alphabet, that means you know Russian. Non. Allez, incohérence suivante. La capture, c'est quelqu'un qui demande à Amberlin, vas-tu reconnaître que la haine que tu reçois... So this is somebody who is... Can I move these? Yes. Uh, will you ever acknowledge that your hate is more about the lies and manipulation than your weight? Toi est plutôt à cause de tes mensonges et tes manipulations plutôt qu'à cause de ton poids. Amberlyn répond non parce que je n'ai pas. Amberlyn replied with, and then I'm going to read it so I don't have to think as much. No, because I haven't lied. I'm not manipulating anyone. I can't acknowledge something that isn't true. Menti et je ne manipule personne. Je ne peux pas reconnaître une chose qui n'est pas vraie. Yeah, that's true. The the knowing the alphabet means you're fluent thing is really giving. Like I went, I read manga, so I speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I mean, funny. Et à droite, on a l'extrait vidéo où elle se contredit. Let's say I do gaslight my own. Oh, I yawned, so I didn't hear anything. Une chose qui n'est pas vraie. Et à droite, on a l'extrait vidéo où elle se contredit. There is a point in the video in which she contradicts this particular claim. Okay, so it's not me who doesn't get the English. I'll verify it. So what she's saying is tradition. If you're wondering, is translation. What's the name of the channel? Alain Dessen. That's how you'd say it in, in Quebec Winnies. Uh. I hope I'm doing an okay job, by the way. I'm trying my darndest. Um, okay, so the... So what she's saying here is, Oh, okay, well, my English is not that bad. Or it's not as bad as I thought. <gasps> oh, no! Damn! Hold on. I goofed really badly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pas l'anglais là. Je vérifie quand même, hein. faut vraiment être sûr. 
utilisée pour introduire une situation hypothétique. So she's looking at the definition of let's say and is bringing up a hypothetical scenario. Ok, donc Amber Lynn dit « Disons même que je manipule mon audience. » So people are fixating on the fact that she's saying like hypothetically, allegedly in Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what she's saying is people are fixating on something as if it is fact, but it is actually just a hypothetical situation. Is what she's saying. Et des gens considèrent ça comme un aveu de manipulation de sa part. Why? And for some reason, people are considering that full on manipulation. C'est complètement con. Enfin, je suis désolé. Um, how do I say this? Well, I can say this. I'm gonna say it's colloquially. Man, y'all stupid as shit. If you consider that an argument, that's what she's saying. Même en étant de mauvaise foi, ça passe pas comme argument. Et moi, ce qui me dépasse, c'est que cet extrait dans lequel elle ne dit pas qu'elle manipule son audience est repris par tout le monde comme elle a avoué qu'elle manipule. So even though she hasn't actually manipulated her, on her audience in this context, everyone is considering it that she has manipulated people. Cet extrait est vraiment célèbre. Il a tourné partout. Amberlynn writes that she is This is something that has gotten really messed up and turned around completely. I just want to see who this is. I like checking who the channels are. Anna's analysis. Cool. Once again, a non-native English speaker showing that actual native English speakers are being willfully, willfully, blah, 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 willfully ignorant. Yeah, I'm a native English speaker, but like I shouldn't have been kind of if that makes sense. So like my parents are both French, but um, my brother had a speech impediment and he went to French school and it went really badly for him. So um, we ended up going to English school instead. Pretty much what happened. And then the, but the English school was also like in a super English neighborhood. And so all our friends were English and blah, blah, blah. And because my brother couldn't really speak French, we spoke English in the house. Yes, Alex is shook and I are mutuals. Kind of goaded. But. Thanks for the long and detailed videos. They help me. Over. Thank you. Never lied to or manipulated her audience, but then there's also an infamous clip where she says, Let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? Who cares? Obviously, she has lied to her audience, she's admitted to it, and gaslighting is a form of manipulation. Elle parle au conditionnel, bande d'idiots. It's almost like people want me. She is saying these things all as hypotheticals, what's the problem? To be lying, just so they have more stuff to talk about. Le pire is like the pr um, precipice of the lie, like the bigger, the biggest 20, thing. En Berlin, annonce qu'on vient de lui détecter un cancer de l'utérus. C'est la panique. Cette vidéo, elle brille. So in 2020, it came out, or she had a video where she talked about how she had uterine cancer, and she came onto a video in a panic. Le cas. Heureusement. Pour la première fois depuis très longtemps, le ratio sous cette vidéo est bon. Elle reçoit enfin du soutien. For the first time in a really long time, the ratio for the video was good, and maybe there is some sort of end to all this nonsense. Et là, un nouveau personnage débarque. Nico Cado Avocado. En 2019. Then a new enemy enters the chat. <laughs> Uh, Nick Cado Avocado. Enfin, en 2020, Nico Cado Avocado va se mettre à parodier en Berlin pour se moquer d'elle. Again. And... <laughs> It's sorry, just because like, oh god. Okay, in 2020, uh, Amberlynn Reed had a documentary with, um, oh no, sorry, a, um, in 2020, Amberlynn Reed was mocked by Nick Hikata Avocado in a series of videos, is what I meant to say, holy moly. And as a plus size girl, I weigh almost 600 pounds. It's hard. You know, nine out of ten times when I have eggs, I get an allergic reaction. C'est tellement régulier que sous ces vidéos, on peut lire des commentaires tels que à ce stade, c'est juste une chaîne parodique d'Amberlin. Uh, there are a lot of comments relating to how Nick Cotto should might as well be in a parody channel at this Et point. Et dans une de ces vidéos où il imite Amberlin, il va sous-entendre qu'Amberlin aurait menti sur son cancer pour que les gens la soutiennent enfin. So there's this idea that. There's this idea that people are thinking that Amberlynn Reed lied about the cancer. 
So I'm thinking about doing something to make the haters kind of stop. So what if I, you know, said something that might be trolling, but no one would dare to question if it's a troll? Something that you would never question because questioning it would make you seem rude. Oh yeah. Le sous-entendu dure plus. Um, which I want to add to this too. Like essentially every reaction channel, or at least popular one, like Under the Sun, was like, no, she totally had cancer. So this is a bit of a mute point in my humble opinion. Google said 95% of Quebecers speak French. Yeah. But like most of Quebec is bilingual. I believe. Let me check. I don't know, 46% are bilingual. But I believe what it is, is that most of those, 80% of the bilingual population is French. Yeah. And then 52% of Quebec speaks English. Or knows English. So with 32% being, or 36% being first language speakers. So... All folks expect French, in my experience. Yeah, that's the only time. It's when you get to, like, Saguenay, Saint-Jean, and stuff like that, where you're getting a lot of those, like, separatist, grumpy people. What? Plusieurs longues minutes, mais on comprend très bien de quoi il parle quand il... He's kind of... So, uh, back to this, but um, he's kind of drawing it out over a long time, but it's understandable what he's trying to get out. So what he's saying is an event that you could talk about that you can never question... Et il n'y a aucun doute sur le fait que c'est bien elle qui limite. Les commentaires sont limpides, tout le monde a compris de qui il parle. Et re Despite the fact that he's not really saying anything, it is really obvious what he is getting to. Bolot, Anne Berlin est une horrible menteuse, même sur un truc aussi grave que ça. There was a lot of speculation over whether Anne Berlin actually lied about this cancer diagnosis. Alors Anne Berlin répond à cette nouvelle polémique et elle montre des documents médicaux qui ne laissent aucune place au doute. Girl, why is the subtitles gone? <laughs> um, Amberlynn Reed has to respond to this new controversy. She has to bring up medical, so now I'm just doing it off of my ears, so. <laughs> uh, now she has to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> now she has to bring up medical documents that have no place here. Want your proof? Here's your proof. I hate that I have to sit here and show such personal freaking stuff. I don't want to be known as someone who's lying about having cancer. It's disgusting. Elle montre aussi des photos assez graves. Okay, I'm. I know this is so sad, but I'm just. The, the word dégueulasse, I love so much. But I think, it, I think she pronounces it differently. It's dégueulasse. Is that what it's spelled? Oh, dégueulasse. I love that word. Okay, sorry. Inappropriate a little bit. Disgusting. Elle montre aussi des photos assez graphiques qui montrent certains moments où nota... She even also has photos from that time that are really graphic. Also times that there was a lot of blood, but I'm not going to go find those. Pas tout ça, mais le mal est fait. See, my issue is not what people are speaking, as you could probably tell, but the second I gotta produce something in French, I have to write something out, lost in the sauce entirely. So she has to, because of the culture of Amberlynn Reed, uh, blah, 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 blah. because of the culture of Amberlynn Reed always lying, this is the type of shit that she has to put up with. People think that this is some sort of big trick that she would be lying about. Again, the ratio for this video, again, is very bad. Also, on the Montreal being English, it helps that there's two prominent English universities in the city, one of them being a top university in the world. A hint is this one. It's this one. So... Yeah. McGill is like top the 20, 
21st best university in the world or something like that. It just almost cracked top 20. Elle écrit en commentaire des choses telles que elle croyait vraiment que si elle pleurait encore devant la caméra, elle aurait du soutien. Lol. Ou encore. Oh yeah, she's crying in front of the camera uh, for sympathy. Lameo. Tu peux pas gagner ta vie en mentant aux gens et puis faire. You can't make a living off people and then act like a surprise when they don't believe you. Genre que t'es surprise quand les gens ne te croient pas. Et maintenant, les gens font même des mèmes sur son cancer. Now it's gotten to the point that people are making memes of her cancer. Mm, C'est de bon goût. Merci Nico Cado, t'es vraiment un mec bien. That leaves a really good taste in my mouth. Amberlyn a été soignée, mais c'était pas un traitement léger. Elle a dû subir une hystérie. While it is good that she's okay, it did not come with good treatment. Donc une ablation totale de l'utérus. On a dû complètement lui retirer. Donc bon. So she had to get an entire a surgery to entirely remove her uterus. Vraiment, cette opération, c'est loin d'être anodin, mais elle s'en est sortie et c'est une très bonne chose. Mais les gens ne. It is a very invasive surgery, but thankfully she got out of it fine. But people did not see it that way. Voit pas comme ça. Les larmes ne marchent pas sur moi. C'est super frustrant de voir que tu as une deuxième chance dans la vie et que tu la jettes par la fenêtre. Amberlyn, bien sûr que certaines personnes pensent que tu n'as pas vraiment eu de cancer. Tu as menti par le passé et c'est normal que les gens pensent que tu mens à ce sujet. Gonna read, gens... we, read, we read the comment off the screen so I don't have to think as hard. Um, Amber, of course there are some people that don't think you actually had cancer. You've lied in the past and it's very normal for people to think that you've lied about this too. Not saying it's right but it's a thing. People are more upset that you just had surgery and cancer and now back to your old ways of eating, quitting diets, and not trying to lose weight. I wouldn't say it's a hate comment, though, because it's like the reality of the situation is that if she, you know, like, you can't keep surviving, like, surgeries, right? So it's like something that you have to be cognizant of, you know? Yeah. Tu n'as pas vraiment eu de cancer. Tu as menti par le passé et c'est normal que les gens pensent que tu mens à ce sujet également. Les gens sont surtout énervés qu'après un cancer et une opération, tu sois de retour sur tes anciennes habitudes alimentaires, à abandonner tes régimes et à ne pas vouloir essayer de perdre du poids. Voilà. Who are more upset that you hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, people are more upset that you said surgery and cancer. Now back to your. Oh, I already read that. This is why people are mad at you, not because they think you don't have cancer. It's because of how you're treating your body while knowing that you had cancer. Ne crois pas que tu as eu un cancer. On pensait tout. So Nick said she faked cancer. Nick Akato broke her ribs with disability, therefore criticizing me as ableist. Avocado is accusing someone of manipulating a medical situation for attention. Yeah. Yes, that's what he did. That is what he did. He has said that on, I think, a few occasions now that he thinks she faked the cancer. Hold on. But yeah, I'm going to keep going. Oh, another video. There's another one. Another 50 minutes, y'all. Like. Plus que serait le déclic pour toi, mais clairement, ce n'était pas le cas. L'épisode du cancer d'Amberlyn sera pris par beaucoup de gens comme un nouveau prétexte pour reprocher Amberlyn de ne pas maigrir. C'est atroce. She has had cancer. Um, there's this whole. Hold on. Oh. Um, there's this whole issue with Amberlyn not losing weight. As the focus of this, it's atrocious. That is directly related to her morbid obesity. Tu n'en sais rien. Effectivement, l'obésité favorise les risques de cancer, mais à moins d'être son oncologue ou son généticien. Um, you're joking, right? Because I understand that there is this concept that obesity can contribute to cancer. It is ridiculous to assume that it. There's things that are not beyond genetics and other factors. Oncology as well. Et d'ailleurs, l'obésité n'est même pas citée dans les facteurs à risque pour ce cancer. Ça a peut-être pu jouer. It's not actually. Oui. Tu n'en sais rien. Et d'ailleurs, l'obésité n'est même pas citée dans. On this website, obesity is not cited as one of the factors for cancer. Pour ce cancer, ça a peut-être pu jouer, mais tu n'en sais rien. Tu n'as pas le droit d'émettre des diagnostics comme ça sur Internet. Et je vous rappelle encore. There's no way that you can be serious where you're actually putting that type of diagnosis on the internet. L'obésité dépend de plein de facteurs dont la plupart ne dépendent pas de la volonté de la personne. C'est immonde de lui dire. It is absolutely insane. Or I should say insane like that. But well, it's kind of... I'm sorry. It's because foo is like... Sorry. Uh, it is absolutely ridiculous to assume that 
the other factors are not relevant and that the and again obesity is really complicated do not say that the cancer is her fault dire que son cancer c'est sa faute pour le chapitre les mensonges dans berlin là je viens de vous faire une sélection qui me semble représentative ce sont les mensonges dont on parle le plus souvent en ligne mais c'est également ceux pour lesquels il y a le plus de preuves car la plupart des so talking about all the lies that people have collected collections of what they think are the lies and here are some of them but it seems like a lot of the uh, accusations online have the basis um, are made of thin air was posted on the day you made a community post saying your mental health is so incredibly bad and that was the same day you're now saying you got drunk and you were like having all this fun and like this goofy little girlfriend moment that you had so these two things happened simultaneously your mental health was incredibly bad and also you were drunk as fuck and having the time of your life with your girlfriend i don't follow ah oui parce que bourré avec tes potes c'est une garantie que tu vas bien Ah, yes, meaning that if you have anything to drink, that guarantees that you're going to have a good time, yes. Ouais, c'est vrai que personne au monde n'a jamais noyé ses problèmes dans l'alcool. It's almost like, wow, no one in the world, said sarcastically, no one in the world has ever had problems in the, with alcohol, that doesn't exist. Ça n'existe pas. Oui, et puis c'est également vrai que quand on va pas bien, on doit rester pas bien. On n'a pas le droit de s'amuser quand on... There is no way that if you're in a bad mood, you just stay in a bad mood. You can never have any, thum- any fun. Non. Si un pote te téléphone pour te proposer de te changer les idées pour aller mieux, tu dois dire non. If you have any concept of that you want to change your ideas, you can't do that because she says no. Sinon, c'est que tu as menti. Yes, under, I hope this... Tra- th- am I making sense? Because, <laughs> like I said, I'm really doing this, like, very, very, very on the fly. So, I, 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 when I tell you, I don't remember the last sentence I said as soon as it comes out of my mouth because I'm already on to the next one. Um, if, I'm, if, if I'm saying something that's confusing, please let me know. Or if the people who are, like, better at French than me are like, she's stupid, please let me know. Si, et que tu n'allais pas mal, pour de vrai. Toujours ce genre de conneries sur lesquelles les gens se basent pour dire qu'elle a menti. Alors... Um, that is not an actually decent base to say that she is lying. Or, sinon, sur notre petite liste des raisons pour lesquelles on déteste en Berlin, on avait également les fausses accusations. En 2016, en Here Berlin, we go, we have the section that is talking about false accusations. Elle sort une vidéo dans laquelle elle témoigne. Elle y parle d'une relation avec son ex. Elle nous raconte un couple dysfonctionnel. On this video from 2016, she had a conversation talking about... a conversation... Oh, shit. Ha! <laughs> uh, da 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 the legality of the false accusations. 2016, Amberlynn talked about a video where she had a bad relationship with an ex. It was dysfunctional. Quand son ex boudait quand Berlin n'avait pas envie d'avoir des rapports, était de plus en plus insistant. Jusqu'à... There was this kind of co- what is bousculade? Holy Jesus! That's I feel like it's not a happy word, but that's like a really funny sounding word. Oh, bousculade is uh, fighting. Or hitting with something. Okay. Um, so they're saying that there was physical violence, pressure, uh, like coercion, coup, stuff like that. Transformé en premier coup, puis les premières violences. Well, bref. For a situation of violence or anything like that um, in a domestic way. Passion bien merdique. Dans cette vidéo, par contre, Amberlynn a quand même été très maladroite sur un point. Son ex est un homme transgenre. Au moment où Amberlynn... Amberlynn Reed in the video made a really big mistake. The... Ex-partner is a transgender man. When Amberlynn Reed and this person were dating, uh, they had not completed... See, the problem is, it's a mis transition, what that means started her transition, but it started... C'est son transition. But the problem is, I think, trans, I think that's just a structural issue with French. Point is, uh, the transition had not been done yet. À cette époque, son ex se genrait en elle et avait encore son prénom féminin. Et pendant toute la vidéo, Amberlynn va l'appeler par son ancien prénom et genrait son ex au féminin. C'est très maladroit et ça peut même être... Uh, for the whole video, Amberlynn Reed insisted on using their dead name and... Preferring to deal with feminine pronouns. Okay. And that is a really big mistake. Si c'est fait volontairement. Cependant, and what happened with this is that people labor, labored, labeled Amberlynn a transphobe in a really aggressive way. With all the expectations placed upon Amberlynn Reed, I personally do not think that she did this maliciously. She wanted to state the history in a way that was accurate, her with the... Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. Um, I was literally going to say transition is feminine. Not, I literally, yeah, that's why I said it's a structural thing. 
um, because French is fun and silly. And uh, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. I personally think with all the history and everything that what she was doing, she wasn't actually trying to be mean with it. Quelqu'un qui à l'époque se présentait comme une femme. Et puis elle nous explique également que si elle donne l'ancien prénom de son ex, c'est parce que bah depuis son ex a changé de prénom que. The issue is that she was using the name the ex had before, and they had already changed the name. Cet ancien prénom n'existe plus, et donc que si elle utilise cet ancien prénom, personne ne saura de qui elle parle. Que cette personne. Um, and what people are saying is that they need to understand that you're not supposed to dead name somebody because, in technicality, that person does not really exist anymore. But to Amberlynn Reed, that person did exist. Because that's who she plus. dated. Évidemment, c'est ultra maladroit, et je comprends que ça puisse être très blessant pour son ex ou pour toute la communauté trans. I understand that that was a really b so bless is a mistake that it was a or an error or like a harm uh, that it can be harmful to the transgender community. But Amarlin Reed did not make these comments with bad intentions. So mauvais like that, mauvais is bad. And intentions is intentions. So. Mais je ne pense pas qu'Amberlyn l'ait fait avec des mauvaises intentions. Bref, ce qu'il faut en retenir, c'est que l'ex d'Amberlyn n'est pas identifiable dans cette vidéo et qu'Amberlyn a été très maladroite sur ce point et que ça va clairement pas jouer. En... So with all of this, even though Amberlyn tried to be clear with the Faber, this did not help her at all. For this, I am going to be using the proper. Name, so prénom means, so in French, your nom is your actual last name. So my last name would be something you don't know. My prénom, pre-name, is Mika. En sa faveur. Pour ma part, j'utiliserai le nouveau prénom de l'ex d'Amberlyn et je le genrerai au masculin. Donc cette personne s'appelle Kazei. J'espère que je le prononce bien. Au final, chercher à anonymiser Kazei ne servait à rien parce que très... Uh, the name of this person is now Casey. Um... Keeping Casey anonymous does not really help at all because after Amberlyn Reed made a video, Casey made a video. She can't pronounce Casey because she's French, makes sense. Uh, so she's saying Cassie, but it's not. She's not trying to say Cassie. It's just because quand tu parles français, c'est comme ça. C'est un nom, c'est Casey. Mais quand t'es québécois, t'es capable de dire comme Casey. Parce que c'est anglais, or say you see these common anglais. So what I'm saying is, is that if you hear me speaking French and saying it, I could say it like it's in English, but it's being used similarly to how you would use an anglicis, anglicism. Uh, but because her accent is consistent, Casey's gonna sound weird. She's not trying to call her anything else. Il a else. également sorti une vidéo sur sa propre chaîne pour nier tout ce que disait Amberlynn. Donc là, bah du coup, on sait de qui Amberlynn parlait. Pour résumer. Casey made a video to combat every single thing that Amberlynn Reed said in another video. Dans cette vidéo, Casey déclare que toutes les accusations d'Amberlynn sont fausses et qu'en fait c'était Amberlynn qui était violente. In the video, Casey was saying that all of the accusations made were actually Amberlynn Reed being violent and none of it was true. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do part two like next week or something or in a couple of days because I don't want to be on here for like four hours. I want this to be like somewhat replayable for people too. So, but it's, it's just fun and I'm going to finish this obviously, but I was going to try to do both parts today and I'm like, my brain is spaghetti right now. Like, <laughs> this is not easy. Okay. This is not easy to do. Everything in that video was such bull that I can't even, I can't even describe. Uh, I, f I think I forgot to say that vi Casey came out with a video saying that everything that Amberlynn said was actually what was happening to Casey. The bullshit that was in that video. I was the one being abused. And I will say this, I may I may have laid a hand on her a few times. That was in self-defense. I didn't do it. Dans cette situation, c'est impossible de trancher et de savoir exactement ce qui s'est passé sans avoir plus d'éléments. It is impossible with this situation to bring up the idea that hold on it is impossible to say with the events that we are aware of what exactly happened yeah see this is <laughs> yeah this is uh listening comprehension but like on steroids because this is like much faster much longer and much more complicated 
because in the listening practices, all you would do is comprehension questions, not consistently restating them and translating in real time. Um, but like I've been speaking French since. Uh, well, so like I've known it my whole life because my mom would speak it. That's why my accent is like not super Anglais, but like I start speaking it like as like a full on second language uh, since I was like 12 years old. So it's been about 10 years. C'est la parole de l'une contre la parole de l'autre. Et je sais qu'il faut toujours croire les victimes, mais là on a deux personnes qui prétendent toutes les deux être la victime de l'autre. Mon avis. It's hard to understand who is the victim in this circumstance because there are two people that are claiming that they are victims of each other. It is possible to me, in my opinion, that the two people at hand could have actually just made a super toxic couple. And that they both were the ones who did it, who did badly. It is not possible, or sorry, it is not always possible that it is done in one in a binary where one is very nice and one is uh, the evil one. Binaire, un gentil, un méchant. Peut-être qu'Amberlin a été violente avec Kazé. Peut-être que non. Peut-être que Kazé a été violent avec Amberlin. Peut-être que non. Peut-être. Is it possible that Amberlin was violent to Casey? Maybe. Is it possible that Casey was violent to Amber? Also, maybe. Peut-être que Casé a été violent avec Amberlin. Peut-être que non. Peut-être que personne n'a été violent avec personne, et peut-être également que les deux ont été à la fois victimes et auteurs de violence. On ne sait pas. Is it possible that they were kind of constantly coming at each other and they were both victims of violence to each other? That is also very possible. My boyfriend is watching the guy who's really good at GeoGuessr. Kazé a quand même posté quelques preuves dans une vidéo, mais il n'y a franchement rien de probant. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, I wasn't looking for close enough. que personne n'a été violent avec personne, et peut-être également que les deux ont été à la fois victimes et auteurs de violence. On ne sait pas. Kazé a quand même posté quelques preuves dans une vidéo. So, Casey made a point to attempt to post some proof in the video. There are screenshots. Vidéo, mais il n'y a franchement rien de probant. Il y a des screens dans lesquels on constate que les deux étaient en bon terme, quand Berlin avait... The context in the screenshots is not really... Um, helping in this case. Oh, uh, Kira, I'm just doing this because I want to. Like, because I feel like it would be helpful for the Amberlynn Reed reaction community to, like, actually be able to understand what points this lady made because they reference getting French hate comments from her audience a lot, but, like, that's it. And I don't think they actually know what is being said about kind of the context of the community. I'm going to assume this is the actual one about, like, the hater channels. Um, but, again, I'm going to do this one next week or something. Because I'm just like, yikes. Big discourse energy. Oh, yes, I've seen that. I've heard about Destiny releasing videos, yeah. Um, I've been, like, actually watching, like, summaries of them through reaction channels because I could not be bothered to watch two hours of Destiny. Um, and then there was screenshots even with Amberlynn Reed trying to have conversations with him after the release of the first video. Dans cette vidéo, personne ne savait qui tu es, personne ne savait de qui je parle dans cette vidéo. Je ne voulais pas que qui que ce soit sache qui tu. If I accidentally like misgender somebody again, I'm functioning in two languages right now and I'm with a lot of people going on at once. What do we think about Dusty's tea? Um it's alright. Okay. So then she's just reading the comments in, in French, so I wasn't putting you on blast. I don't want I didn't want anyone to know who you were. I deleted the video I made because I did not want to make it to attack you. I made it to share my story. You know exactly what you put me through. Dead name. Uh Julie knows, Crystal knows, Destiny knows, even your mom knows, but they'll never admit it. Family sticks together, right? Anyways, the video is down because that's and we can't see the rest. Je l'ai faite pour partager mon histoire, et oui, effectivement, Amberlynn a supprimé la vidéo. Il y a un dernier screen qui me met assez mal à l'aise. En gros, dans cette capture, Amberlynn dit à Kazé qu'il est la seule personne avec qui elle a eu des rapports jusque-là. Euh, 
Amorline explique qu'elle aimerait bien passer à l'acte avec sa nouvelle copine. So then there was a screenshot relaying that Amber Lynn Reed had said that Casey was the only person they had ever been physically intimate with. Mais qu'elle a peur de sentir mauvais. Alors elle demande à Casey comme c'est la seule personne qui... And that Amber Lynn Reed had reached out to them after. ...répondre à ce sujet-là. Je trouve ça assez déplacé de la part de Casey de partager un truc aussi intime, d'autant plus que ça ne... Me... It kind of seems that this might have been an intimidation trick on Casey's part. Sorry, I'm getting the names mixed up. Um... It doesn't really prove anything with the actual receipts in place. She's under the impression that prouve strictement rien dans son histoire de qui était violent avec qui. En... That it is just in place to expose Amberlynn Reed's insecurities. En conséquence, il y a eu un tas de vidéos autour de ce screen de la vie privée d'Amberlynn. You know that there's also screenshots relating to the hygiene of Amberlynn Reed and other unrelated things. That's shitty of him. Pas cool. Even with the hashtag hygiene. Not cool. certainement jamais le fin mot de cette histoire. Sur la partie publique, je trouve que les deux ont fait des trucs pas cool. Amberlynn qui... Uh, with everything coming out publicly, there are tricks from both sides that are not cool. Imagine et Kazé qui expose l'intimité et les insécurités d'Amberlynn, c'est pas cool des deux côtés. Mais... Uh, with Casey... Ex... Yes, oh my god, I thought I got the name wrong, sorry. With Casey exposing things about Amberlynn and Amberlynn re to things about Casey, it is kind of like more of a petty thing than anything else. There's also possibility of violence, a physical and a sexual matter that kind of lies within the couple. Pour ce qui est de possible violence physique et sexuelle au sein de leur couple, on ne sait pas. We don't really know what's going on here. Là, le mieux c'est de laisser le bénéfice du doute à tout le monde. Ce n'est pas ce qu'internet. Us not knowing anything is truly at the benefit of all. It is not for the internet to decide. I believe Casey. She made false RAPE allegations against Casey. The internet essentially sides with Casey on this one. Pour revenir sur les raisons de détester Amberlynn, on avait également la maltraitance d'animaux. She treats her. Another way that people show they hate Amberlynn Reed is talking about her mistreatment of animals. Her animals poorly, so she used to have a dog named Monkey that was overweight. Her current dog Twinkie is overweight. Effectivement, c'est mieux pour leur. Twinkie's the goat, though. Like, honestly. Like, Twinkie's a sleigh, I have to say. Gus is a skinny legend. Um, his favorite food is cardboard boxes. That's why there's all the boxes on my bed. Because we can't leave anything on the floor. He tries to eat it. So. Or anything within reach. So. And this bed's elevated. That's why he can't jump on it yet. As soon as he can get on the Squishmallow bed, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Like, it's over for me, for real. Like, anyways. With pets, it is crucial to pay attention to their diet and keep them healthy. Again, with the same thing with people, it is not actually that simple. Um... To keep a pet at weight. Chez ma maman, on a un chat qui est obèse. C'est vraiment un gros chat. On a tout. Her mom has a super thickums kitty, um, and they've tried everything. Ou essayer les slow feeders, les croquettes de régime, peser tout ce qu'elle mangeait au poil de. Uh, they've tried everything. Uh, slow feeders, diet food, uh, timing out when she's eating, all the different types of things. D'autres croquettes de régime. Et en fait, au bout d'années à la faire maigrir, le constat était toujours le même. À chaque fois qu'on arrive à lui faire perdre du poids, elle est malheureuse et elle se laisse crever. Et on a finalement décidé... Oui. Um... Hold on. Oh, and eventually they decided that they kind of needed to just let her pass after she got sick. Um, or sorry, to just let her live because she was um, unhappy. Peut-être en meilleure santé, mais si c'est pour qu'elle pleure toute la journée, est-ce que ça vaut la peine? Bon, ça c'est juste mon avis, mais j'ai également posé la question en story. Est-ce qu'un animal? With this in mind, um. And this is just my personal anecdote. I posed a question to my audience. I asked my audience if they think that having an obese animal is bad treatment. So 
C'est du cas par ça, that means uh, it is a case by case basis. La majorité à répondre que c'est du cas par cas, 20% à répondre que non, c'est pas de la maltraitance, et 20% à répondre que oui, c'est de la maltraitance. Yeah. So, 20% said it's maltreatment, 20% said it's not, and 60% says it depends. Également une vidéo dans laquelle on voit une des pattes de son chien et les gens trouvent que ses griffes sont trop longues. Alors, je, je m'y connais pas. Hein. Um. So then people were pulling up a video where the dog had nails that were too long. I don't know anything about dogs. So I asked a veterinarian and two vet students. Je demandais à une vétérinaire et à deux étudiantes en vétérinaire. Leurs réponses vont toutes dans le même sens. Effectivement, sur cette image, les griffes sont un peu trop longues et ce serait bien. Um, everyone said in the images that the nails were actually not too long. Bien de les tailler, mais pas au point de s'inquiéter de maltraitance. Or that, that, that they are too long, but not at all to the point that they would be considered maltreatment. Pendant mes recherches, j'ai regardé pas mal de vidéos dans Berlin, et alors c'est rare qu'on ait des gros plans sur la patte de ces chiens. I looked at further videos of Amberlynn Reed, and um, in most of the videos, it is clear that her nails are not even long. Et globalement, en général, quand on les voit, leurs griffes ont l'air plus ou moins nickel. Mais comme une fois, les griffes de son chien étaient un peu trop longues, ça y est, Amberlynn Reed m'a traité des... The one time that the nails were captured on video too long, everyone says Amberlynn Reed is an animal abuser. Des animaux, et on a droit à des vidéos telles que Amberlynn Reed maltraite des animaux, ou encore une pétition pour sauver son chien. On peut y lire qu'il est trop gros. And even went as far as to have a petition that says that she should not be able to have her dog anymore. Gros, que ses griffes sont trop longues, ou encore qu'il ne sort pas en promenade. Eh bien c'est bizarre, parce que dans les vlogs d'Amberlynn, on les... People are making claims that because the dog is obese, that she never goes outside. But it's weird because in all the Amberlynn Reed love vlogs, the dog's Donc, outside. Sortir en promenade. Mais bon, à ce stade, plus personne vérifie. Quand on accuse Amberlynn d'un truc, c'est forcément la vérité. Um, I, but again, because it's, it's Amberlynn Reed, people do not feel the need to justify anything. Il y a également deux trois extraits vidéo très célèbres qui tournent partout pour prouver qu'Amberlynn maltraite ses animaux. Mais si vous êtes attentif, vous allez pouvoir remarquer quelque chose qui permet d'affirmer que sur ces extraits, Amberlynn ne maltraite pas. Ses... The three videos that people are using as proof that Amberlynn Reed abused animals are not actually true because if you look at them properly, it is not actually Amberlynn Reed who is not who is abusing the animals. It's Dusty. Nobody. Est-ce que vous avez remarqué que ben, c'est pas Amberlynn qui maltraite les animaux sur ses extraits. Elle, c'est Destiny. Amberlynn et elle étaient en couple de 2015 Oh, 2017. Destiny's into the chat, bro. Destiny lore. Je ne l'apprécie pas. Je n'apprécie pas du tout qu'elle traite les animaux. Comme... Um, uh, so here's Destiny, someone that Amberlynn Reed dated from 2015 to 2017. I do not appreciate her at all and how she's treating the animals. Comme des jouets, évidemment, je condamne totalement son attitude avec eux et je lui souhaite une infection urinaire. Ça, ça juste une petite liste. Um, something about urinary tract infection. Évidemment, je condamne totalement son attitude avec eux et je lui souhaite une infection urinaire. Ça, ça juste une petite cystite, ça passe. Et concernant les internautes, j'apprécie fort peu que ce soit Amberlynn qui soit tenue responsable des... Wait, I think someone just said, I think she just said, like, I hope Destiny gets a yeast infection. <laughs> Is that what she said? Am I stupid? Is that what she said? But I was pointing that she's saying, like, It's Destiny who's the problem here, but for some reason, despite it being Destiny, oh, it's in the cat had a UTI because I'm getting confused now with Destiny being part of this whole thing. Um, yeah, I hope she gets a UTI. Okay, that's that wasn't me. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, look at me knowing stuff. Um, and despite the fact that um, it is not Amberlynn doing the actions, it's her name in the videos for this. It's Oops. Oh no, what? <gasps> Hold on. Ils se sont rendus compte que les personnes obèses... Uh, Destiné avec le chat, ça aurait été. Et comme tout le tweet, il restait un dernier. Oh, il y a un. Ou qu'elle traite les animaux. 
Elle était en 2015-2017. Je ne l'apprécie pas. Je n'apprécie pas du tout qu'elle traite les animaux comme des jouets. Évidemment, je condamne totalement son attitude avec eux et je lui souhaite une infection urinaire. Yeah, so she said I hope Desi gets a UTI. Petite tite, ça passe. Et concernant les internautes, j'apprécie fort peu que ce soit en Berlin qui soit tenu responsable des actes de destinée. On peut même voir sur cet extrait que ça la choque sur le moment. Il y a un seul extrait où Amberlin n'est effectivement pas délicate du tout avec le chat, mais pour vous replacer le contexte, 20 secondes avant qu'Amberlin ne lui prenne le chat des mains, Destiny était en train de faire ça. Ça aurait été mieux. And in the extract, they have a section where Amberlin Reed is not handling the cat nicely, but you could tell within, or she also said before that, sorry, um, Amberlin Reed's reactions in these videos are actually ones of shock. And if you look at the next segment, uh, even though Amberlin did not handle the cat nicely, within 20 seconds before that, you could see that Desi was hanging her upside down, like not being nice to the cat. Mille fois mieux de le déposer délicatement, j'en conviens, mais je pense que la priorité, c'était de retirer ce chat des mains de Destiny. Et comme je vous dis, j'ai regardé des heures de vidéos d'Amberlin, et à chaque fois, je la trouve. Um, in reality, it is, um, sorry, I got a text message. Um, in reality, it was just her trying to get the cat out of the hands of Destiny. C'était de retirer ce chat des mains de Destiny. Et comme je vous dis, j'ai regardé des heures de vidéos d'Amberlin, et à chaque fois, je la trouve super cute et douce avec ses animaux. Sous la liste, sous le... In every single video I've seen of Amberlin actually interacting with the animals, I could see that, um... Uh, she's actually very sweet and kind to her animals. Ensuite, il restait un dernier point. Amberlin est narcissique. Amberlin Reed has now been. In all of these points, it always comes back to Amberlin Reed being a narcissist. Used by many for some time now of being a narcissist. Okay. Et comment des gens d'internet qui ne sont pas psychiatres peuvent diagnostiquer Amberlin? How all of a sudden are everybody online a psychiatrist who can diagnose Amberlin? Oh my god, girl, you got YHB in here? I really hope so. This would be kind of tea if that happens. As we know, Amberlynn Reed has taken several breaks already at this point because of the light criticism she has received from online trolls, as she calls them. Bon, eh bah, désolé, Mastu et tous les YouTubers qui ont déjà fait une pause pour gérer la pression et les retours négatifs, vous êtes officiellement narcissique. To every single YouTuber who has ever addressed criticism in any way, they are a narcissist. Or you are officially a... Narcissist. Diagnosed. Psych officiel, hein. Je suis psychiatre de Google. Bref. It is an official diagnosis. I am a Google psychiatrist. Um. Anyways, is there anything that actually says she's a narcissist? Another trait of the narcissist is believing that no matter what they are talking about, others will find it as interesting as they do. We especially see this when Amber records literally hours and hours worth of footage of her playing board games expecting her viewers to be as interested in the games as much as she is. Ah, boo, elle est narcissique, elle a des passions, elle essaie de les partager, boo que... Boo, she's a narcissist, she has a, a passion for sharing her desires with people, boo Que tous les gens qui partagent leur centre d'intérêt dans des vlogs sont narcissiques The narcissist... Everyone who shares anything they like in their vlogs are narcissists. ...and become extremely boo. obsessed with something, in this case, Amber and her vlogging. Donc tous les gens qui ont un centre d'intérêt précis, vous êtes narcissique. Et pas une autre... Everybody who has um, a internet platform that's very specific, you are a narcissist. Automobile, narcissique. Passion lecture, narcissique. If you like automobiles, girl, if you like cars, you're a narcissist. Um, you really like reading, narcissist. Uh, you like Harry Potter, narcissist. The third one, I'm just kidding. Um, but J.K. Rowling can rest in piss, even though she's alive. T'aimes bien Harry Potter? Oh, narcissique! Bon, allez, est-ce qu'il y a d'autres arguments pertinents pour prouver ce diagnostic? Um, everybody. Oh! <laughs> Friend of the channel. <laughs> um, it's just funny. I know we, we talked about her earlier. It's just funny to be someone who says that, like, I use my degrees to sound smart or, like, like to comment, like, you know, it's, like, perpetuate, like, allowing that narrative to be perpetuated in the comments that I utilize my degrees to sound smarter than I really am. For someone who is hypothetically, allegedly Minecraft unemployed in their field, so just has a bachelor's um, of social work and is using that as flag in their... Um, videos because I'm also more educated than this person is so it's like 
And I'm not putting, I, I, I had one of my videos, like English literature student looks, or rhetoric student looks at da, 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 da. But I also had like student in there, right? It's like, unless, if Michelle is employed um, and like works, and so I completely take that statement back, but I was sent things from like Reddit that I was like looking through like once, like two weeks ago. So but I'm just saying, it's just funny to be like, oh, Mika like uses the degrees to sound smarter or whatever. And then it's like, you're literally putting your practice, which social work does not allow you to diagnose people anyways. A little bit weird. Anyways. She tends to buy her girlfriends lots of things. One might almost say she love bums them, which is the behavior of a narcissist. Ah bah tous les gens qui ont des cadeaux, vous êtes narcissiques. Alors, je place... Everyone who gives gifts is a narcissist. Ça là, mais si Amberlynn cherche à ce point à avoir de l'attention et de l'argent, elle l'immense... It's so hard because Amberlynn Reed looks at a point to gain attention and gain money. Pense narcissique qu'elle est. Il faudrait m'expliquer pourquoi elle refuse d'apparaître à la télé. But if she's a narcissist, how come she refused an opportunity to be on television? Appearing on TLC would not shock me. She's somebody that clearly loves money, so I wouldn't be surprised to see her on TLC, but apparently uh, she decided to not do anything to do with TLC. I wouldn't apply to be on any TV show because, like, no, no, thank you. Like, it did go through, it did go through my mind at one point to apply for The Biggest Loser, but... It's just not my thing. I don't think I would last in a TV show. I don't think I'd be good for it. Une émission de si grande audience, c'est le jackpot niveau célébrité et cash pour elle. Pourquoi une narcissique avare comme elle refuserait? If she's such a huge narcissist and has the opportunity to be a celebrity and make a lot of money, how would she refuse that? Oop, bonus. Je sais pas si ça commence à devenir clair pour vous, mais à ce stade, je commence à avoir l'impression que ce tweet disait vrai. Les gens se cachent derrière plein de prétextes bidons pour justifier qu'ils aiment pas Amberlynn, alors qu'en fait, au final, c'est simplement que la société... To look further into why people are... Oh, bye Nico Peach, have fun at work. Um, so there's a concept of why people are so interested in Amberlynn Reed and... Um, looking into this so deeply, but it comes down realistically to society does not like people who are fat. You're putting an awful lot of stress onto an already struggling healthcare system. Boo, vilaine personne malade. Eh, les gens malades, vous avez pas honte de stresser les médecins? Ooh, she's someone who is sick. She's putting stress on the healthcare system. I always, yeah, I didn't like that. I've never liked that argument either, because it's like, I've been chronically ill my whole life. So you're going to tell me that like, my main purpose of life is I a stress on a healthcare system. It's like I have chronic, I have like uh, chronic asthma and amongst a couple of little fun little bumpies, but like it's it's like if I was to be de like considered only as like a pushing point on a healthcare system, like that's ridiculous. quelqu'un dire ça à propos d'un diabétique ou de quelqu'un? What happens if she was diabetic or what or whatever uh, what? Or it shouldn't really matter what other kind of disease it is. N'importe quelle maladie. Et pourtant, quand il s'agit d'obésité, maladie reconnue par le monde médical. And you're saying this, you didn't, you wouldn't say this for other diseases, but you're saying this for obesity, a disease that is written in medical and scientific journals. Et scientifique, c'est ok. Et le ratio sous cette vidéo est d'ailleurs excellent. On l'a compris. And the ratio for this video, the like-dislike ratio, is really, really good. Amberlynn est une carte bonus. I've never really cared how much she weighs. Um, when I call her a fat pig, it's because she is fat and she's a pig. But I'm not calling her a fat pig because of her weight. She's just a lazy, smug, manipulative pig. A greedy liar. Um, and a greedy, manipulative, narcissistic person. Si c'est sur Amberlynn qu'on tape, ça passe toujours. Même les plus grosses chaînes avec des audiences absolument énormes se permettent des vannes ultra déplacé et ça ne choque personne. Something about If it is it is always Amberlynn who comes up in this thing. Si on Amberlynn qu'on tape, ça passe toujours. Même les plus grosses chaînes avec des audiences absolument énormes but the constant narrative in the audience is that she's completely enormous. And she just exists as this sort of shock value. Something about watching overweight people eat thousands of calories just... Mm, satisfies me. 
<rire> Mec, t'as pété un câble Faire une vanne où tu... Sur le visage de... Rassurez-moi, dites-moi. Oh. Have you striked a nerve? Do you see what you're saying? Like, reassure me, I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Moi, que ce serait jamais passé sur le YouTube francophone. Non, parce que là, quand je vois cette vidéo qui a un ratio excellent... <laughs> That's like ever being a francophone on YouTube. J'hallucine. Cette vanne est passée. Depuis quand c'est ok de faire ça? When I look at someone who is... It's so nuts to me to see these jokes passing by and people just think this is okay. Sorry. Okay. It was massively overweight. I just feel bad. I know nine times out of ten it's their own fault and they did it to themselves. Elle était déjà obèse à 8 ans. Elle s'est fait ça elle-même, t'es sûr? I don't. She's been obese since she was eight years old. Do you think it is actually your fault? Are you sure? Nine times out of ten it's their own fault and they did it to themselves and they can stop if they want to. Mec, tu fais 4 millions de vues. T'as de l'influence. Fais des recherches avant de répondre. You got 4 million views, you have a ton of influence, do some research. Des clichés erronés sur des maladies. Pour faire un parallèle, quand Thibaut Inchep a fait une vidéo avec des propos clichés maladroits sur la dépression. Uh, in contrast, this guy, Thibaut something, whatever, uh, a French YouTuber did a video with... Um, clichés and bad points about depression. C'est pas passé du tout. Je veux pas... And it doesn't pass with anybody. Au mieux ce drama, de toute façon il s'est excusé, il a également fait une vidéo où il donne la parole. C'est pas passé du tout. I don't want to talk about that drama, but it's, an drama. Façon, it's weird that it is excused. That is not excused, but then this passes by with no repercussions. Il a également fait une vidéo où il donne la parole à une psy. Pour euh, donner des infos beaucoup plus fiables et rectifier le tir. Bref, c'était juste pour vous donner un exemple. Une Oh, this person who made the bad video, even though it's all been talked about and dealt with, I'm just trying to give an example. Someone with a large audience, if they say something on the subject of a disease, person with a lot of audience, if they say something on the subject of a disease, normally it doesn't pass. It normally does not pass if you talk badly about a disease, but for some reason, obesity gets a pass. But obesity, it's the card bonus. We can say all we want about it. And this card bonus, a lot of YouTube. And with this pass, this is something that a ton of YouTubers use. Oh, you have even no idea. One point of huge tension. You would have no idea how many people go use this card. Tension between her and her fans is the fact that she basically has failed all the diets that she's done. <laughs> Unlike everybody else, Amberlynn changed up oh. the whole vlogging game. It is so interesting that she keeps failing these diets. Isn't this such a good joke? <laughs> Something that you'd be interested in. Super boring. <laughs> oui, bon, pour quelqu'un qui t'ennuie, elle a quand même l'air de beaucoup t'intéresser. Hein. T'as quand même fait trois vidéos sur elle. Et des vidéos. Even over someone who's so boring, you seem quite interested on her. You did three videos in a row on her. Passionnante, avec des arguments chocs tels que. Elle prononce mal certains mots. And. And with this argument, you have the passion of bringing up the great subject of that she pronounces some words wrong. How could we forget about Grammar Lynn? I've never even heard of it. Mel Voland. Oh, C'est passionnant le scoop. Wow. Faisons-en une vidéo. Oh, allez, tu m'as gonflé, YouTuber. Wow, that is the leading scoop of the news. You do a video on it. Suivant. Congratulations, Twinkie Star, on your weight loss journey. May it be more successful than your masters. Je suis sidéré du nombre de gens qui s'intéressent au poids de quelqu'un d'autre. Oh my god, she's so ill. It is nuts that you could talk about the weight of another person. On a normal sized person, that's a full sized piano. Toute la vidéo, ça va être ça. With this thumbnail in mind. Um, yikes, is all the videos like that? I knew I recognized you from somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how she hasn't fallen forward. Oh, ça dégage, tu vois. Because if she stayed off YouTube in 2014, I don't think she'd currently be the weight of a female bear. Um, une femelle ours pèse 80 kilos en moyenne. C'était une belle tentative de dénigrer un. Um, she's like, oh, yeah, the weight of a bear is like 70 to 80 kilos. That's very normal. Un humain en le comparant à un animal, mais là, pour le coup, c'est raté, monsieur. C'est fou d'être aussi nul, même dans la... It's crazy that you can compare an animal, uh, a person to another animal, 
in a way that is apparently not mean. And if it's not mean, reassure me that it's not. Non, mais sinon, rassurez-vous, il va pas parler que de son poids. Il va également parler de sa rupture difficile. Oh, it's all right, love. Find your chin and pick it up. And then they always do this in a way that is... Um... A little bit too rough. Il a aussi parlé de son déménagement. So she packed up all her massive cardigans and she moved to Florida. Il va aussi parler d'un truc qu'Amberlin n'a pas remis sur une étagère chez Walmart. If you can get an item from a shelf, yeah. They even made fun of the way that they would buy things from Walmart. You can put your big pork leg of an arm to use and put it back. Pour te la faire courte, cette vidéo, c'est 40 minutes de vanne sur les gros. Going for dates at... The thing with this video is just 40 minutes of fat jokes. The Two million views, great. Theater, back when Amberlin could fit in the seats. Going to work together, back when Amberlin could fit through the doors. The girls would even shower together, back when Amberlin could fit in the sh Wait there, how did these two women ever fit in the same shower together? Did you used to just hold hands and run through the local car wash? She was in love and she was massive. Money Anne Boleyn was receiving, the more her true colours were showing. And I'm not talking about the pre-diabetic discoloration on her knuckle. Houston, we have a big fat massive problem. Et ça passe 2 millions de vues, excellent ratio, tous les commentaires cryogéniques. Bref, beaucoup de chaînes de drama avec beaucoup d'audience font des vues de zinzin en faisant des vannes sur les gros et c'est déjà... Um, good... Good audience, good ratios, all of this with just tons and tons of jokes that are made fun of fat people. And it is so bad that I wasn't even ready. Terrible, mais vous n'êtes pas prêt pour la suite. And you're not even going to be ready for this. Oops, pardon, je vous interromps une petite seconde. La deuxième et dernière partie de cette vidéo sort demain. Et si on est déjà demain, bah la deuxième partie est juste ici. Alors oui, je sais, c'est surprenant qu'il y ait une deuxième partie à cette vidéo. Mais là, croyez-le ou non, on est encore juste sur la surface. Um, I've already felt the demand for a second video, and that is going to be right here. That's this card. And there is a demand because with the 16 million results, we've only just reached the surface. Le vrai what the fuck de cette histoire, c'est en partie 2. N'oublie pas que tu peux cliquer sur le petit lien traqué en description pour me soutenir. Encore merci à Bulk qui sponsorise cette vidéo. Okay. And then, thank you for the sponsor. Whatever. All right. Holy! <laughs> All right. That is that. Um, well, I'll schedule another stream at some point soon to uh, go through the next one. But that is my live translation, whether the quality dependable, non-actual translator, please don't come for me, um, of Amberlynn Reed's... Um, the French Amberlynn Reed documentary. Oh, man. My head hurts from thinking that hard for so long. Because it's been, what, like, almost three hours? All right. With that, I'm going to scoot. You kids have a very iconic day. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Debbie and Nova, Bay SMR, Ollie, who was here, Winter M, Vaughn. Oh, member for two months. Thank you, Debbie. Bien fait. Thank you. That was hard. Uh, the other one's a little bit shorter by like five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I tried to keep my opinion out of this like entirely. Uh, obviously, I did. I did a little bit of trolling, but hopefully this could be useful for people down the line. All right. Thank you. Bye.